Oh, hi. Okay, <laughs> before we begin. Before we have the front and the front and festivities today. Um, thank you, Theo, for the trigger warning. If you guys can, please check that pin message as quickly as possible. This game is a little, uh, there are a couple of triggers in this uh, video game that I, I feel like I would be a fool not to warn you about. So let's all thank Theo for the trigger warning. It's in the pin right now. Uh, thank you so much for that. <laughs> yeah. And, ooh, I'm, I'm a spooky ghost of Gibby. I'm not even supposed to be here yet. What I'm gonna do very quickly is disappear. All right, okay, be right back, be right back. Everybody, it's nice to see you. It's nice to be here. It's even it, it's it's a good day to be alive, my friends. Yo, thank you so much for the month, hey, Bubby. Thank you so much. Let me read that. Last time I checked, you're the only princess who slays in this household. <laughs> Maybe we will be slaying more than just a couple things today. <laughs> but with that being said, hi everyone. My name is Goldmullet, TQC expert, weapon specialist, and head sniper of Armus, and today we are playing none other than Slay the Princess. Now, I have heard many good things about this game. <clears throat> many, 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 many good things. As a matter of fact, uh, I, I believe it was Shinri who had recommended this game a couple times to us, and I was always interested. I never had the opportunity to actually prioritize and sit my butt down to play the game so now is a perfect time to be playing it with you bubbies today yo thank you so much ness just know you just so you know Gibby, this game will probably take more than one stream to get the true ending unless you do an endurance stream Ooh, so there's multiple endings by the way guys today i don't think i need any back seating if i do need some back seating i will say hey guys i need some help here but other than that um no spoiling and no back seating unless i ask for it of course unless i ask for it um with that being said um um i already mentioned this very like earlier but please there are a couple of trigger warnings in this game i don't believe this game is for everybody so if you can do me a big favor let's thank theo for you know giving us the trigger warnings that this game offers with that being um with that being said please check them check them if you can i don't want you guys to have some yucky feelings with this video game i'm not too sure i'm, I'm going in completely blind <laughs> so i have no idea what to expect and i think that's why i'm very excited hey thanks for the one month and thank you so much for the gifted Mwah. thank you guys so much i'm very excited i'm very excited from the music alone, from the illustrations of what I'm seeing, look at this right there. This looks fucking amazing. Look at that. I like the composition here too. The, the gradients of gray and whites here used. So lovely. So lovely. Okay, let's turn the game up a little bit. Okay, that seems good. <clears throat> Join our Discord. Follow us on Twitter. I will probably do that very soon. All right, new game. Let's do it. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Hmm. Look at this. There's like a really cool effect here when I move my mouse. Look at that. <laughs> I love this. Good morning, Gibby. Hi. I'm going to do my best today to try to focus on the game. So if I don't read you guys too often, I apologize. I just want to do my best to avoid spoilers. There has been a few times where we had someone in the chat spoil something. They're like, did you know that Joker did this? And I'm just like, hey, hey look. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so I'm going to be a little, I'm, I'm going to be treading on thin ice here. Uh, but I'll still do my best to read every now and again. 
Um, by the way, good morning. It's nice to see you all. I hope you guys had a great sleep and a great weekend. It's nice to finally be back here playing games for you guys. Tomorrow might be a long stream. I'm actually... We're going to be playing Elden Ring tomorrow. And it might be like... <laughs> I, I imagine it being a 15 hour plus stream. I, I think I might start super fucking early. I love that game. But enough of that. Let's play. You're here to slay her. If you don't... It will be the end of the world. What? <laughs> Wait, the end of the world, excuse me? The end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to the end of the world is because she's locked up? What the fuck? Yo, thank you so much. If you like the narrator's voice, his name is Jonathan Sims. And he makes horror podcasts. What's nice? Also, one month. Thank you, Gibby. Of course. Thank you so much for the month. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Explore killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, what? We have the killer. Because the world is going to end. Can someone else do this? Forget it. I'm not doing this. Well, look at all the options we have. Holy shit. We have a good amount of options here. I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Whoa. <laughs> That's kind of hard. That's kind of hard. Do I get some kind of reward for doing this? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, there are so many options. Holy shit. Sweet. I've always wanted to, uh, wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. Silently continue to the cabin. Turn around and leave. What the fuck? <laughs> they, have, they have given us multiple choices. Silently, silently continue to the cabin. Let's see. Let's try this. The end of the world. What are you talking, I'm talking about? talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> but why? But how can a princess locked away in a basement in the world? Yeah, see, that's what I'm wondering. Okay, if you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to kill her. Hmm. Do you have any evidence to back this up? Have you maybe considered that she's the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? <laughs> These are all very, like, reasonable choices, too. Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Look, I'll go and talk to her, and if she's as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll a slayer. But I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to be here face to face. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm sold. Let's get this over with. Hmm. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. She's not dangerous. She's just a princess. The danger comes if she gets out, which she will, unless you do something about it. Huh. All right. Okay, what happens if she gets out then? I want specifics. <laughs> do you have any evidence to back this up? Let's try. I, yeah, I do want specifics because he's yet to explain any reason other than like we have to do it. All right. The more specifics you have, the harder it will be for you to do this very important job. She's a princess. People will listen to her because listening to her is in their nature. Hmm. And when they do, everything will come crashing down. <laughs> okay, fine. I mean. Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Does it? Are you a monarchist? <laughs> Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? Kind of, If yeah. anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. 
Yeah, but then again, a princess, like, if she's a damsel in distress, then she's not really putting him up too much of a fight, I'd imagine, right? Unless she needs our help. But if she's a demon or some shit, she'll probably kick our fucking asses. <laughs> like, what does she even look like? <laughs> like what? Me, personally, I, I do this Hitman speedrun style. You just go up to her, hit her with a briefcase, <laughs> just smack the fuck out of her. Um, yeah, what's the reward? What, what do we get out of this? Like, okay, look, I go up to the, I go up to the princess, like, I smack her a bit. <laughs> like, what the, what the fuck am I getting out of this? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. What is it, money? What? Oh, EG, EG. <laughs> this guy can't just say that and not give me like, what's the reward? Do you have any evidence to back Look, this up? You're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important <laughs> task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Huh. He's okay. Have you considered that maybe the other reason she's going to end the world is because she's While I up. appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. <laughs> this evidence is trust me, bro. Like, look, you're gonna have to trust me. You're gonna have to kill this bitch. Now, I know I may not be giving you specifics right now, but don't ask. Just go in there and fucking slap. Like, I, I, I don't like this. I don't like this. Kill her. Wait, before I accept, I have a very important question. Is she hot? Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much, Maddie. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm a little scared right now. I, I, I'm a little hesitant to just kill someone for no. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. <laughs> okay. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. How does he know that, though? <laughs> wait, wait, what? It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Mm. Unless, of course... You do your job and slay her. Okay. <laughs> I, I can't argue with that. I mean, he's, he's making great points. Can someone else do this? Oh, if only that were the case. But I don't make the rules. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. <laughs> but unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. Like I said, I don't make the rules. No matter how much I wish I did. Huh. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say this because I, 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 I do want to see what this cabin looks like. Hmm. Yeah, right here. Can you tell me what my prize is? What? Yeah. What am I? What the fuck am I getting out of this? What? What kind of bounty is this? <laughs> like, I need a reason. I need why. I need where. I need. I need these specifics before I whip out Lorraine. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm not just gonna kill someone. Without knowing it, my reasons. It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. What? It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Wait, 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 wait. You're not gonna tell me what I'm kidding. I'm not accepting this bounty. I need money. I need money. Yay! I'm not. I'm not doing this for fucking the Somalians. Look, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her. If she's not as... I guess we'll that. just have to see what happens. But a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. Oh. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Pull out? Whoa, 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 whoa. relax, relax. What's going on? Then each and every one of us is doomed. <laughs> so sure, go. Talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. <laughs> relax, 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 relax. <laughs> you make your way up Ooh. the short path to the cabin. 
you'll find the princess within. I, 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 this doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem right, okay? Like, I, <laughs> this is lovely. Look at this. Look at this. You're telling me that there, there's a princess in there, in that lovely cabin, under the night sky and the many stars, and we're gonna fucking kill her? <laughs> I can't accept this bounty, man! Uh. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Voice of the hero? Wait, there's two people here with us. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Hmm. Seat to the cabin. Thank you, FIFO. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Ooh. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table Ooh. is a pristine blade. A knife. Look at this artwork, my goodness. My goodness gracious. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Ah, uh, okay. Sure. Enter the basement without the blade. I am not going in this fucking basement, in this cabin, alone, without a weapon. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Okay, the music stopped. Alright, let's... I don't like... <laughs> I really don't like this shit. Alright, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. The door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to shit. My pants. Her voice carries up the stairs. Oh, she's speaking. Who's there? <laughs> she sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Yeah, that tone was a little snappy. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Just shaking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Let's just... Let's just go down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. I'm only listening because we have only a few options, my friend. You walk down the stairs huh. and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She doesn't really look too much like a threat. We, wait, 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 give me some, wait, let me get something straight. We're gonna kill this? This is what we're gonna kill? She's a lovely lady. Ugh, I don't feel right. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? <laughs> That's exactly, what the fuck? That's ba that, that is basically what I just said. Yeah, she doesn't look like she can harm a fly. Focus on the task at hand. All right, okay. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? E yeah. What? No way. Why would you even think about that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. No- oh. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it? And then we can chat. Uh, uh, drop it? What would it matter if I'm holding it or not? I'm not gonna kill you. At least not yet. She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. <laughs> but her attitude is making me think that she's gonna like choke me or something. Don't you dare. Yeah. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. 
killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. I don't know, then again, like, why is she so angry right now? Drop it. Oh, shit! Tie in your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. <sighs> you poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you <laughs> scared of me? Because you should be. <laughs> you keep that up, you're not gonna get me scared. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh, oh no. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. <laughs> so, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. <laughs> Why don't we find out? I like this. Maybe she's really capable of actually defending herself. Hmm. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. <laughs> what is this? What if she's in bluffing? What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? I'm sorry. Can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Drop the blade, slay the princess. You go into this expecting to die. You're going to die. <laughs> Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? We can be civilized even when I'm holding the blade from this distance. <laughs> what the fuck? This, okay, I feel like this is like real. This is gonna. Mm, Come on. I mean, slaying her would be fun. Dropping the blade, then she's probably gonna fuck me up or something. I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Oh, be like that. <laughs> Fine then, I guess we're at an impasse. Squint at the princess while holding into, onto the blade. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we are. Hey. For the love of everything, just slay her already. <laughs> Yo, relax! What is this? This guy, like, ha like, ha what is this? Or drop the blade. Do something. Do something. Are you sure you don't want to talk? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh. For Bitchy. goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Eventually, something is going to give, and I highly <laughs> recommend that you be the one to take the initiative here. You have no idea how long I can sit here. Have you seen my bladder? I don't piss. Well, I mean, I do, but I'm a streamer. I can sit here and not go anywhere. I will stand here for fucking hours. You don't understand. All right, I can slay the princess. You charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand, but you've already lost the battle. Whoa. What lovely eyes you have. Look at her eyes. Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> Whoa! Man, you can you can you can kill me any day. She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. Oh, well that was me. We shouldn't have hesitated. I, uh, okay. But she doesn't stop there. She kicks you a few times for good measure. The pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing Ooh. bones, making sure you stay down. As you lie. Crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. As you gasp for air, she eyes you with an intense curiosity. Okay, I'm going to be real with you guys, okay? <laughs> Never mind. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand, and now look at you. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. Completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. <laughs> she applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. <clears throat> Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the end. Sorry. It? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. <sighs> really? What? Chapter 2? The Tower? What the fuck? What is going on? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is Chapter 2. Why are we at the beginning again? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um... <laughs> I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, has he, hasn't this happened already? It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. We've just met for the first time, you and I. Ah, okay... If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yeah, the, the music is so... sad. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. What does it matter what he knows? Voice of the There's broken. nothing we can do to stop her. She's just going to kill us again. <laughs> Wait, voice of the broken? Is this the voice of the hero? Ah. <sighs> she is not going to kill you unless you let her. But slaying the princess and saving the world is going to be much more difficult than it has to be if you spend the whole time second-guessing yourself. <sighs> Let's assume I'm telling the truth that all this is re really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. This narrator seems to be almost like the antagonist. The way he's talking and the way he's like... Almost like... he It feels like he wants these outcomes to happen. I don't know, this character is strange to me. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Okay. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Oh my god. Of course we died. We couldn't land a single blow on her, and she broke every bone in our body before she decided to let us die. <sighs> what were we supposed to do to stop her then? What are we supposed to do to stop her now? It's pointless. She's just a princess. Slaying her shouldn't have been difficult, but congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. <laughs> so do we just... I mean, we did exactly what you were telling us to do, except I was just yapping and yapping on. Do we just walk in there without hesitation, stab her in the chest, in the head, somewhere, stomach, and call it a done day? And I believe your other <laughs> question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking <laughs> that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. All right, all right, fine. What, like, what is this killing kink you have? Like, what, what the mean? fuck? Of course there weren't any consequences. The princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Okay, voice... There, okay, there's three people. Voice, there's the hero, the broken, and the narrator now. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Hmm. That's a good question. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Huh. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? But why is she the way that she is? She must have a reason, right? If she ended the entire world, why should we even bother? We might as well just walk up to that cabin, break her chains, and let her do whatever she wants. It's all the same in the end. Mm. Just because she's capable of ending the world doesn't mean you're not capable of slaying her. Both of those things can be true at the same time. So chin up. I believe in you. Mm. <laughs> Let's talk about the princess. Ah, alright. Just be quick about it. She killed me last time around. 
How can I make sure this doesn't happen again? All she did was last time was... All she did last time around was beat me to death. How can someone like that end the world? To quote you from last time around, she's just a princess. Why was she strong enough to beat me to death with her bare hands? Who locked her in that basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. <laughs> Don't overcomplicate things. <laughs> no, you, he probably, he knows something. He knows something. What about this? She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin, and you'll be fine. She's no princess. She she has to be more than just that, right? Why why aren't we calling her a demon like Huntress at this point? Why 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 does she claim the name princess? Or we could pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending that we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. <laughs> Just ignore their bickering, and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her. <laughs> this guy in, is such a snarky asshole. Okay, okay. I'll listen to you. If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just mm. the way things are. Really? Oh, I didn't know we were special. <laughs> oh, I'm special. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Oh, shut up. Who cares if you think we're special? As far as I can tell, the only thing special about us is that we get to experience painfully dying all over again. <laughs> I don't like the way he was saying special. He's like trying to kiss my ass so that I can just do what he wants. You're being cagey. What aren't you telling I told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. The less you know about her, the better. Hmm. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Not much point of doing this if the world just resets every time we die. I guess maybe we'll find out what happens when we kill her. Let's do it. A warning before you go any further. Um, what? What? She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Okay. Lying? Cheating? Why would she even bother? She didn't need to do anything like that last time. She caught us off guard last time. We'll be fine. Let's just keep our wits about us. At least one of you still has a shred of sense. Just make sure you listen to him, and not that whiner. <laughs> Such a dick. All right, let's if do it. If that's what you want, I guess I don't have a say here. All right. Okay, we just go in the basement, grab the knife, and we stab her. Go the interior of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Wait, what? what? Wait, what is happening? It's like a more of a castle. And what? The knife is so high up there, there's a mirror here. The doors look very, sh like, bulky. <laughs> that's a big motherfucking door. That is like, that's huge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? <laughs> yeah, we need a fucking ladder to grab the knife. We don't feel small. We are small. 
You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Yeah, what the fuck is this? That's because there isn't a mirror. There's what? the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. Did There's you, nothing else in here. Do you not see this big black ass mirror? What the fuck? There's definitely a mirror. <laughs> Look at this! What are you- th This narrator is so oblivious to what's in this fucking- There's only a couple things in this room. Windows, fucking- What, what is that? What is that? Ladder, knife, door, window. Or what? <laughs> mirror! And then there's like the floor. There isn't. What? Who cares if there's a mirror? We're all going to die anyway. Oh my I'm god. I'm sure that if we looked in there, we'd just see something sad and miserable looking back at us. We don't need any reminders of what we are. It would only make things worse. We have this bag of fucking depression with us now. <laughs> oh my god. For the last time, you're not going to die unless you let it happen. And luckily for you, there isn't a mirror. So no one needs to worry about confronting a grisly visage any time in the let's near just, future. Okay, let's just go in there and stab her and fucking leave. So this narrator can stop dogging on us. Though, for what it's worth, if there were a mirror, I'm sure that you wouldn't find anything sad or miserable in it looking back at you. You probably look perfectly normal. Yeah. Probably. Do you not know what we look like? Yeah, what, what do we look like? He knows. He just doesn't have the heart to tell us. <sighs> what the fuck? Yo, Stefan. Thank you so much for the super. Thank you. <laughs> I am a little like... What? He doesn't see... He says he doesn't see the mirror. It's clearly right the fuck here. I care about whether I'm being lied to. There's a mirror. I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. It doesn't matter if there's a mirror. Remain silent. Oh, yeah, let's do this. As do I. And yeah, there is. It wouldn't hurt us just to look. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself. But what would you give a fuck whether done? or not I look in the mirror? Like, what? How, why would this afflict any choice we make? I just want to look at myself. Like, why is he so against the idea of me looking inside of a fucking mirror? Yeah, this whole cabin is different than last time. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Oh my god. But I remember everything. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm approaching the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What the f- What the fuck? It's- What? Wait, am I a fucking- I'm not a vampire. I'm not- I'm not a vampire. Wait, hold on. Give me a second. Where is it at? I can prove it, but I'm not. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Where is my, uh... Give me this shit. See, look, look, I'm not, I'm not a vampire. Look, I can see my reflection just fine. This really isn't funny. Okay, look, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not a vampire. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward, and rub your hand <laughs> oh, against shit. the cabin wall. Wait, no, go away, go away, go away. Ridiculous, you look right. right now. Why am I? Whoa! Did I, were my hands always like this? Why are they so fucked up? We should count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left unseen. Oh my god, this guy is so sad. He's so sad. All right. So give, give me the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess oh and my save god. the world What are we, what are we about to see? That's the basement. Let's do it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. It steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. Mm. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably <laughs> doing her a favor. <laughs> her booming voice rolls up the stairs. All right. 
Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, girl. girl. All right, I'll come down the stairs. I'll, 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 yes, yes, I will. You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. Yeah, she definitely wasn't. We need to get down there. And I'm not she complaining. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Hmm. Let me get my reading glasses. Let me get my walking glasses. On. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how no, pointless I'm everything all right. was. Now you want to. Oh my god. Yeah. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Okay. Let's do it. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess towers over you, almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, oh, 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 and a chain shit. binds her wrist to the far wall. She looks a lot more different. <laughs> she looks a lot more different. Wow. Hello, nurse. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. Hmm. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. You've brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh, hi. My name is Goldblum. CQC expert, weapon specialist, and a whole... <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> you, hey, 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 look, look, look. Oh, I, I need to focus. I need to focus. How about we kill her? I have an idea. Let's kill her. As if on command, the blade slips from your grasp and uh -huh. patters uselessly to the floor. What? But we didn't drop it. We decided to grip it tighter, remember? Are you really just going to let that happen to us? Mm -hmm. I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the blade. No, I didn't! I, I, I gripped that shit! Of course we dropped it. She's so much more than us. Ah. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. I mean, she is pretty cool. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Neil. Ah. Uh. Man. <laughs> look, 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 look. All I'm saying is that maybe this isn't a bad thing. <laughs> no, make me. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said, kneel. Your legs buckle <laughs> and your knees hit the floor. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just like, what, what, wait a minute. What, what is about to happen? What, what's going on here? I heard this was a scary game. I'm feeling things. <laughs> The last time we met, you couldn't even scratch me. And yet here you are again, trying to succeed Thank where you you've already catastrophically failed. I could put a mark on you if you'd like. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Speak. The last time we met, I suppose that lends credence to our conversation in the woods. Still, whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. 
<laughs> Should I? Oh shit. Wait, okay, the narrator just said don't remain silent. You're supposed to end the world. <sighs> Steadfast, brothers. Do you think holding shut your beak is enough to stop me from prying it open? Do you think your skull can save your thoughts from being seen? Yeah. Hmm. You're less broken than I thought. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Pick up that needle. <clears throat> oh. Do it. It's what she wants. No objections here. Uh, ne mm. Don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. All right. As your eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses, but then manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Thank you, people, for the super. She reminds me of her. <laughs> Look at this, though. Look at her position here. She has these amazing eyes. This really curvy figure. This long, like, droopy dress that's tattered. She is in a position to be demanding a lot of things. And I am more than willing to listen. Pick up the blade. You reach forward and grasp the blade. Mm. Stand. This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. <laughs> okay, yeah. We can do that. We were probably gonna stand anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's feel stand. a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all silences are Ooh, broken eventually. I like the writing. That was really good. To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow. While I... And brilliant radiance. <laughs> okay, don't don't feel yourself too much, okay? Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. Uh what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh shit. You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. Huh? <laughs> Bro really just said a Huh? <laughs> end this. Oh, we'll end this all right. Oh, crap. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End her. Slay yourself. Slay the princess. Okay. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive, actively fighting against you, but you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time, you move towards the princess. I have had dreams like this. Like when you step forward, it's hard to step forward. It's like something's taking you back. I feel like that's what the feeling we're feeling right now. <laughs> like I've been in dreams where I'm like trying to walk forward and can't really, it's like resisting me. And I'm like, why can't I walk forward? <sighs> Slitting your throat would have been a mercy, but it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. What could be harder than slitting my own throat? Please, no, I don't want to play League. Please play this game of League right now. Play ARAM. I have a fight, bitch. No, please. Don't do this to me. Plunge that knife into your lungs. Okay, I, can, I, I would rather do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't. As you take another step forward, the blade digs into your ribs, slicing through flesh with ease. It somehow feels like an entirely natural thing to do, while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. Oh no. Then it slides back out, the wound burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. 
blood oh. fills your lungs. That must have been a good, clean cut. <laughs> oh my god, a small hiss of air. <laughs> Damn. Sheesh. Now, do it again. Keep doing it until I give you permission to stop. <laughs> lady, lady, lady. That kind of language. <laughs> Those are just words. You don't have to listen to her. It's what she wants. You, heroic one, what are you doing? Don't just let this happen. Stop him from killing you. I'm trying. I'm, you're not giving me many options I'm here. On I'm it. trying. Your other hand locks around your wrist, struggling to keep it from perforating vital organs. Yes. The blade still flails towards Ugh. you, managing to slice bits of skin that plop to the floor to join the growing pile of blood and gore beneath you. Despite the pain, you manage to keep yourself in one piece, at least for now. The what? What did he, what did he just say? What a pitiful display. A wounded little bird, thinking it can defy a god. It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to hurt so much. You can choose a gentle end. You can choose to leave that punctured vessel for I don't like the stabbing sound. Slay yourself, slay the princess. Or you can pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor of this temple is painted with the bloody impressions of your futility. Ooh, the, the, the language, the language! You continue to approach the princess, there you even go. as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle to the open <sighs> air of the basement. <sighs> you know, this would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. My influence only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at once. The best I can <laughs> do right now guy. is to continue to drive right. him forward. Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. Okay. You're the one making things difficult. You're the one making us hurt. She doesn't want to hurt us. She's just doing what she has to. Hmm. Stop. As you finish oh. crossing the room, you fall Damn. to your knees at the princess's feet, your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste Damn. coating your throat. <laughs> just a second, just a second. Let me take in the view. Let me take in the view. Woman. Women. <laughs> My goodness. The princess kneels down, lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. Your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to delusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. <laughs> Perhaps, if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. <laughs> okay, she's very vulnerable in this position. We can just stab her. And we have the shrine. We can do it. There's a place at my side for you, if you'll have it. Not as an equal, but as something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. <laughs> or a pet. A pet? <laughs> Me? A pet? Sorry, lady. That's not happening. Well, that's the meaning, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Yes, how thoughtful of her. It's a mercy. Take it. Mm. I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. At least one of you is sane. She's within striking distance, and she's yeah, that's what I'm negotiating saying. now because she knows you have what it takes to put an end to her. Seize the moment before it's too late. Okay, I... Ooh, I'm yours? Oh, fuck! Ah, I hate this! What do I do? 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 <laughs> okay, she's right... Okay, here's the thing. Right. If I try to slay her, right? She's probably gonna be too powerful for me anyways. Probably fucking punch me in my dick or she'll try to knock my fucking head off, right? 
If I try to, she, she might be in a very good position to stab her right here. Or maybe here. Really right there. Or potentially right here. But if I pull, he said in the beginning not to pledge myself to her. What? Like, like he, he said, don't listen to her. Just don't do it. She's giving me a good choice right now. I mean, what? What? Okay. <laughs> what? We pledge herself, right? What? What is the good outcome for that? I, I don't want to be a pet. I'm not doing that shit, Slayer. Oh no! Here we go. Yes, though your body trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can react. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, okay! The wind of your fury Damn. rushes through you, and you channel it into a decisive blow, stabbing into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act of Ooh, unyielding That's only defiance. her ankle, man. I don't think that's gonna- that's not gonna knock her down, bro. She falls to the floor. How sharp is this blade? Ceremoniously to her knees. A badass fucking blade. But you don't give her any time to recover. Oh yeah! Ending with determination, you plunge your blade into her chest. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. As you find your target again Jeez. and again, she laughs. Crude emotion breaking through her once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts her flesh. Hey, look. <laughs> we slayed her, right? That's all that matter. We can do this. Can't we? <laughs> That's a sharp blade. You always could. The decision to give you this task was not made lightly. You're here for a reason. <laughs> it's not too late to pick up the pieces. It's not too late to toss that blade aside and beg for forgiveness. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, she surprisingly her eyes, my goodness. How are you looking this good while I'm stabbing you? How is this possible? Shut up. Oh, I shit. can't believe you would actually strike me. You, you hit. Before you can oh. take the final blow, the, the princess lashes out. I clicked too fast. Your feet. I clicked too fast. I clicked too fast. Wait, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Let me get a drink. Let me get a drink. Let me get a drink. Mmm. Relax, Gibby. I'm getting excited. <laughs> I see a hot woman. <laughs> okay. Well, what is this? You heathen, you worm, you, you, you defiler, what the fuck? You don't know the consequences of your arrogance, that's what she said. All right. There's an unsettling- Damn, oh my god, the right hook! Breaks, numbness and pain spreading through your body. <laughs> oh, she punched my- As you rebound towards the ceiling in a moment of disorientated lightness, she drives her fist into your chest. Damn. Your body is crushed. As she pulverizes you into the floor, the ground itself breaking from the impact. One punch, damn. Man. You lie there, broken, beyond pain, unable to even see what she's Ooh, done to you. Look at this. But the princess is succumbing to her own wounds as well. She looks down upon her body in abject horror and disgust. She almost looks like she's surprised. She looks like she's surprised that we did this. Look at her hands. Wow, this is a really good sketchy. Like, this is like badass artwork. I love the detail in the hands right here. She's really like, holy fuck. You can see the emotion here. You made me use my hands. I, I can feel myself twisting into something new, something dull, something defiled. What have you done to me? <laughs> we got her. You're monsters and conspirators. I can't bear to watch them. You can even see where we got her on the angle right here, too. The princess has been nothing but cruel to you. You should feel liberated by her fall. <laughs> to be fair, she hasn't really given us a good reason to feel bad. She's kind of been making us stab ourselves in everything. But I don't feel liberated. I feel empty. Mm. Aside from the pain, I feel fine. <laughs> it's fucking fine. She collapses to oh. the floor. I'm feeling Her bad. glassy eyes watch, unblinking, yet somehow still full of anguish and fear, as the two of you perish together. Oh no, I'm starting to feel bad. I suppose we were never gonna get a happy ending here, were we? 
I don't, I don't know what to think about this. Don't let those be your final thoughts. You saved the world. That's worth something. Couple goals. How romantic. You stab me, I stab you. We both die and bleed out and fucking perish. <laughs> so much for a date. I guess. Regardless of how you feel about it, it's finally over. Thank you. Everything goes dark, and you die. The Fury. Ch chapter 3, The Fury. What is going on? You're on a path in the woods. What? The, the end fuck? of the park. Okay, what the hell is that? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's a bunch of fucking schmeat. I think he's upset. And what's he got to be upset about? We just killed a god. Voice of the stubborn. <laughs> exactly. You heathens destroyed the most beautiful thing that ever was. Ever will be. <laughs> Dude, what is this bullshit? You're damn right we did. You'll get over it. Stubborn. I can't say I have much sympathy for you. She was bad for us and you almost got us killed. You're being too generous. He did get us killed. Alright, enough chatter. Got a thing I'm supposed to do, and if you don't Ew. mind, I'd like to do it without any more interruptions. Ew, the veins and the fucking gooey and the, uh, the tendons. <laughs> okay, great, you're listening. Oh. <clears throat> you're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a. If your thing is telling us about the princess, don't waste your breath. We know all about her, and it's hardly a path in the woods at this point, is it? Thank you so much for the super. <laughs> this is just great. Let me cut to the chase. Clearly, you've already been here. <laughs> yeah, the music is pretty nice. I like the music. Yeah, you think? Uh, actually, I, I don't think we have been here. This is all different, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little nasty. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. <laughs> oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. <laughs> If you've already talking. been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods, if reality seems... distorted. It's because reality is distorted. <sighs> so you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to... restart like this. I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen to me. I hate looking at this. That's not really an answer. <laughs> Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. No return. Whatever happens next, uh -huh. that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. <laughs> all right. Ah, uh, you said to yourself that there's more than what you're letting on. If you want me to go into the cabin, then you better tell us everything. Hey, I can't complain about that. It feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You better all listen to me when the time comes to make a choice. If I don't slay her, if I just stay here or do anything else, we hit this point of no return. Then what happens? Then what happens? Have you even been listening? The end is what happens. Okay. Yeah, but is there something after the end? How am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I can just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there. If there even is a there, <sighs> it doesn't matter because we're going to win. Gibby win. Now that's exactly the sort of mindset I like to see. Don't let yourself be consumed with self-doubt. Don't flirt with oblivion. Just focus on the present and everything will be absolutely fine. Uh, I'm not too sure. If it, this narrator just feels like he's going against us. Like maybe we should start being a little resilient to his demands. No matter what happens next, it seems like our answers are at the cabin. We might as well see him, see him through. Fuck it, let's go. Yeah! Good. We're all on the same page. Oh! What the fuck? These thick, these trees look like talons almost. Like fucking ew! It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the park. Squeeze. Staring up at the cabin <laughs> on the hill. You'll find ew. the princess within. I don't as like I'm it. I'm sure you already know. 
enter. What, what the fuck are we about to see? That's it? No final words of advice? What are we about to witness? I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. <laughs> if there's still a princess at the cabin, maybe we can salvage things. Maybe if we just grovel Broken, just be shut up. Ah, just be quiet. Right? We're, we're beyond, like, salvaging anything at this point. Look at the fucking floor, man. Oh, cut it out, will you? We need to be tough right now. You're making it so much harder than it has to be. So stop whining. Uh -huh. See, it's the cabin. The interior no. of the cabin is a place that feels no. long forgotten. There what was the fuck? It's just a giant construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof, vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. <sighs> but that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of oh, living meat. God! It, the fucking description was just too good. It, that is disgusting. That's horrible. It is! You did this. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal. A pristine oh. blade perched on its edge. Oh my god. The blade is your impact. I hope none of you guys are eating you right need now. It if you want to do this right. Fuck. It's that. It, what, what is this? And it's blocking the door. It's a giant mirror. Does he not see this? A mirror? There is no mirror. There's. We've done this already. Try to keep up. The repetition is maddening. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I would know if there was a mirror. Reheated spaghetti? Oh, or no. You're confused on the definitions of door Don't look. And mirror. Just like minimize this part for the side thing. Far more likely. Oh my god. What are you trying to say exactly? He thinks we've lost it. That we're succumbing to madness. That something in us has broken. We're in a meat world. That's an unnecessarily melodramatic way to describe a hallucination, but sure. I'm not going to waste time <laughs> That's arguing. Fucking narrator, with you. man. I feel like I want I want to go against what he's saying to us. It went away after we touched it last time. Let's just do it again. He's getting a little bit too demanding for my taste. Take the blade. I want to approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? How strange. I hate how... I feel like he knows what this is, but he keeps, like, being coy about it. Like, oh, it's not here. It's almost as if you don't see anything. Gaslighting me. It really is, just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? Yeah, it's like in the middle of the fucking corridor this time. The last time it was on the side of the fucking wall. Smash it. Smash it to pieces. It's the only thing keeping us from her. The broken is so pathetic. Oh my god. Don't you want to know what we'll see in there? We won't be able to see anything if we smash it. Nah, I'm with him on this one. Smash it! Let's get violent already! <laughs> Do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. <sighs> what is smashing it? Just you reach here. forward and drag your hand across the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? When you step forward into the darkness. Oh, shit. The stairs leading down oh. to the basement are at once both oh. narrow and grandiose. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. Oh, oh, this is just disgusting, this chapter. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh oh. blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess is here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. We didn't grab the knife, guys. The knife, like, what the fuck? Are these boys not listening? They, they seem to be like, 
I thought maybe we can clear the board and when we're done with the mirror, we look, grab the knife. What the fuck? We're gonna die. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Her voice of bellowing rage roars up the stairs. Was severing the tendons of my ascension not enough for you? Was it not enough to rend my divine heart? Please, God, have mercy on me. Come, see the horrors you've wrought upon my flesh, and feel my hands set upon your throat. <laughs> She's so angry with us. Why? Why did you desecrate her? Why couldn't I stop you? Broken. It's too, just shut up. You've got to stop thinking about her like that. It isn't doing anyone any We good. didn't grab the knife, though. She's not some untouchable god. She's an abomination. abomination. And we're going to put an end to her once and for all. Whatever she is now is our fault. If she's an abomination, then what does that make us? It doesn't matter what we are. She needs to slay. slay. And we've got the means to do it. Except, so let's except get for move one glaring on issue, we don't have a weapon on us. If I might interject, you didn't make her into an abomination. She's always been what she is. It's why you're here. And it's why your task is so important. Alright. You make your way to the bottom of the what stairs. What the fuck are we about to see? What are we about to see? The chamber's walls are painted in Holy blood. Holy shit. red that drips down in clotted streams Holy onto the charred corpses shit. that make up its floor. Th this, this place fucking design is amazing. Ripped skin and burning bone. Oh my god. What a f Whoa! <laughs> Dude! Look. Like, it looks like this dress is almost like a part of her. And like, it's being ripped off and exposing her in like the legs. And look at the veins here, yeah! Ooh. The princess stands in its center. Muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Oh my. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? <laughs> There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood oh. drips from the place where metal meets flesh. Oh. And then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. It plops to the ground. And she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. Oh. She is oh. loose. Oh. She is coming for you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Let her end. It's the punishment you all deserve for what you did to her. It's the punishment I deserve for letting it happen. Screw that. We can win. We've done it before and we'll do it again, only this time we'll make it out the other side. Hell, she's practically done most of the work for us. Stubborn. I don't. I don't think Stubborn understands. We don't have anything to defend ourselves right now. We're pretty much at the mercy of her. Unless we drop kick her out the fucking window. Like, okay, that's a good idea. Okay, we drop kick her into the chest. Push her out the window. Easy. We don't even have a weapon. It doesn't matter. I refuse to go out any way that isn't kicking and screaming. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Ugh. What happened to you? Wait, we don't have to do this. I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm sorry for what I did to you. Please just listen to me. Let her end you. <laughs> what? No, we gotta fight back. What do we do? What do we do? I, I don't know what to do. Oh, shit. There's not much point of even, like, talking to her right now. Get her ass. Fight. Okay, fuck it. Fight. Still unarmed, you charge towards the princess. <laughs> Stop it! Stop! Stop it! It's now or never. Let's make it a beautiful blaze of glory. With a horrifying squelch. You are unarmed. <gasps> oh! Jesus! 
I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Ugh. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. What? What the fuck? What just happened? What the fuck? Wait, what is this? True to her word, you do not die by her hand. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her place. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? What just happened? And there's that mirror up there. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went, and I don't know how do we go about looking for her. It looks like she got nabbed up. The narrator is gone. <gasps> what? Are you serious? It is. Does that mean the world ended? <laughs> All that's left is this mirror and like these weird like strands of hair. The world didn't end. We're still here. Come on. We just need to keep going. Um, figures the world would end and leave us with all this nothing. I think I'm. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror, approach the mirror. I don't know where she went. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. <sighs> it's like it's mocking us. I feel anxious. Does anyone else feel anxious? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little... I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Let's just approach I'm it. begging you, don't do this. Why not? It's the only thing that we can do. There's nothing else here. Explore the mirror. Never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. She's not here, man. I don't want to look at us. You approach the mirror with the fuck? What it, wait, 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 wait. It looks like... It looks different. Oh, no. What am I about to see? Uh, this... This doesn't feel right. It feels... Different. Final. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. I don't want to look at us. The voices feel small, distant, as you approach. <laughs> what is this? Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. <laughs> Why? I can, I can see myself. I can actually see what I look like. You are all alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, is this is this it? Is this the end the narrator was talking about? Holy shit. You are at the cabin. Oh, fuck. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What happened? She had, what are these hands? Her whole demeanor has changed. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Hollow Star's idol bolt bullet. Um, solitary lights, what do you mean? What do you think I am? I'm a person. A person. A set of eyes witnessing from one perspective. 
I think that you are more like me than you are like a person. Ooh, her voice is so nice. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. That's one way to look at it. How the fuck do we get out of here? <laughs> the gift of a fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Yeah, that's a good point. The gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. Huh. This one is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you. Yet it is she who unwound herself. But there is passion and empathy in her misery. She will make for a burning heart. A burning heart? Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. Is she about to die? What? Let her out of there. Do you know, do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you here? Are you trapped me? What the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> this game started out so like, oh, easy premise. And now I'm looking at what appears to be some kind of like God or, or some shit. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Do you know about the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Oh. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. <sighs> I have only just now stirred to consciousness. Mm. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. Uh, all right. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. What? The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. That is a terrifying prospect. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. That is so fucking scary. That, that is really fucking frightening. This is like some fucking Gygus, like, Earthbound type beat, like, levels of, like, twickly. Holy shit. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Oh, right, that, well, that's good news. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope, as I witness you. Huh. What happens now? Attack the entity? No. Destroy your body. What? Why are these our, why, why, why are these our options? Nothing as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget. If only you believe her to be able to. <laughs> Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. <sighs> Speed dating the game. <laughs> Yo, Ella, thank you so much for joining us. You have yourself a good one and please stay safe. Oh my goodness. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. 
I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Maybe it's a blessing that we found her. She's very cooperative. I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Ooh, that's a hard ass line. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. I'm not gonna forget this. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Huh. I wonder if we could talk about video games with her. Do you... Do you play Souls-like games? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna cry. What is happening? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Huh. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait forever. Okay, I'm ready. Make me forget. Hey, look. Hmm. <laughs> Bobbies, what do I do? There's not there's not much point of us being here anymore. Okay, I'm ready. Make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so sad. You won't. Everything goes dark. And you die. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. What? You're on a path oh in my the God. woods. The what the fuck? It's a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Thank you for the super. So if I have if I were to choose, wait forever, the game closes. <sighs> Alright, well we're here again. We're back at chapter one. You're here to slay her. Can we just, like, sil silently continue to the cabin? We don't have to do these options. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Okay, so here's the thing. You'll we we the know what we him. know, but the narrator doesn't know that we know. <laughs> I know that you know what I know, but he doesn't know that we know. But now we know. <laughs> We're not going to go through with this. Ignore him. <laughs> How interesting is this? The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer. Does he know? <laughs> the only furniture he doesn't note, know. Is a plain wooden table. You don't Perched know that I know that what he knows. Is a pristine blade. We both know. <laughs> Wait, so what if we go in here without the knife? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay. <laughs> this is so fucking interesting. Wait, what happens if we enter the basement without the knife? Let's try that. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. <laughs> I feel like... 
I'm scared. What is about to happen? A voice. All Hello? right. Is someone there? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> it's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Damn! What? Dude, dude okay, that... The writing, holy shit! Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Fuck you, narrator! You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Hi. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. Um... You walk down the stairs and lock eyes her with demeanor the princess. Has changed. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? <laughs> Dude, this is... She's so different now. She's not the first princess that we met. She's a little bit more soft and like... You know, inviting. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. I'm gonna go against the narrator this time. I don't like this fucking asshole. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Yes, yes I can. I'll see what I can do. You're only making this more difficult. Oh my god. Look at her. She's so lovely. Look at her hair and her eyes. They look so big and sad and hopeful. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. <laughs> I don't... Okay, the narrator, I, I'm gonna go against what he wants at this time. I... I don't trust him. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. All right. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? The key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, I'm like... I'm like falling in love with this game. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm gonna check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something for you to break free. Let's try this. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Maybe there is. Huh. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Um... She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. Wait, 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 wait what is it? No. She's not... She's not saying what I think she's saying. Is she? You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding what? into place. What? Wait, who? Who did that? Is someone else here? Uh. Try the door. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. What the fuck? Wait, who else could be here but me? And the princess? I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Uh, try the door. It's not going to open. Just go back downstairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Oh my god, shut up. This narrator guy is a... I don't... He... he... I don't trust him, I don't trust him. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. 
I mean, she's not threatening us, and we don't have anything to kill her with. So... I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Hey, look. We're both on here now. There's a slight panic much we rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth. What the her teeth fuck? Tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Oh my god! <laughs> What? <laughs> Wait, whoa, what is... She went from being really cute to being the grisliest motherfucker I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. Oh shit. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but we're not grabbing that fucking thing. Now. I'm not touching it. Or we could use it to free her. That we could. You won't like what happens if you do that. I've seen what happens. Save the princess. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> against your better judgment, <gasps> you place the blade against the ragged, self inflicted wound on the princess's arm just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. She doesn't seem to be in pain. Yeah, her eyes are gorgeous. It, it, it just doesn't feel right. Like, <laughs> is she, I can't tell if she's in pain, if she's feeling this. She, she's just letting me do it. Oh my god. You cut into her flesh. <laughs> The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her heart. <laughs> Look at her, she's listening to a fuck. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. Look how grisly the shot is. Just, like, flooring, rock flooring, the hand, bleeding. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. Yeah, why didn't she? Like, <laughs> it's really creepy. No. She didn't. Mm -hmm. She smiles softly oh as her God, gaze so meets cute. yours, blood <laughs> from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. I just want to hold her face and give her a little kiss, like right here, and then right here. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me! How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Sorry about that sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you, thank you, thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Sorry about that. That fucking sneeze came out of nowhere. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> thank you, Zuma. <laughs> hey, okay. Her, she's uh, guys. Okay, I like her. Like, okay, so I get it. The other princess was really mean and really hot. And like, I was like, please step on me. I will anamorph into a fucking chair right now, right? But I feel like this, this princess, she's, she's more like, she's diligent, cute, and like harmless to me. Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. <laughs> why don't you, narrator? Why don't you come and fucking do it yourself then, huh? If you're such a big man, why don't you come down here and kill it yourself, man? As the princess approaches the bottom stair, <gasps> your body steps forward and raises don't, the blade. Don't do that. He's forcing me to do this. He's forcing me to do this. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. No fucking shit. Watch me. Kiss my fucking ass. What are you doing? No, don't, dude. Don't! What is no? No, 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 no. She's so cute. Look at this motherfucker. Hey, what? Wait, 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 wait. Warn her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah, this shit is rigged. This is rigged. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. 
We warned her. We warned her. Yeah. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall there before you the go. blade has a chance to connect. Dude. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. <laughs> okay, she's weaving. She's weaving, man. Oh, fuck. Resist. Resist. The blade. Move the blade. Don't move shit. As your body remains oh frozen God. in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. Look at her. I oh, my goodness, baby girl. <laughs> She's so sweet. We both know this isn't you. I, I, this is such a completely different route from what I was expecting. Like the first route we got was so like gnarly and this one is just so soft and like bizarre. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I have an idea. Kill me. Slay me. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Yeah. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. She looks like she doesn't want to do that. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, she's so pretty. She, god damn it, god damn it. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. <sighs> For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. <laughs> Narrator, if that's the case, then why do you give a fuck at all whether or not we do it, let her do this? Whatever. Huh? She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. She, you can tell she's not good at this. She's trying, though. She's doing good. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? No, she doesn't. Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm so sorry! I feel bad. With one last thrust of the oh knife, my your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. L look at this fucking shot, man. The illustrations in this fucking game are beautiful. My god. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I prefer uh, for things to have gone differently, uh, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. My, my goodness. Look at her. She's so... Everything goes dark. And you die. The dam... What? Wait. You're on a path in the woods. The damsel? And Chapter the two, path the damsel. It's a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Uh, I really don't know what to think about this. Uh, You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. <laughs> it's an entirely new chapter. This game is full of surprises. I'm getting deja vu. Oh, you're in for it now, you bastard. <laughs> I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. <laughs> this dick. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, have to be sneaky about it. 
I... This is... Mm. Our beloved. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know <laughs> that you and the princess are in love, and the four of us <laughs> will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. What is that voice? <laughs> we'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Hey, that doesn't sound bad, though. <laughs> right? I mean, it's not just a regular peck on the cheek, it's a peck on the cheek from a beautiful lady. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> this fucking guy's a class act. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. A warning before you go any further. Yes, I know. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe <sighs> a word she says. We already told you we're not playing <laughs> along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. <laughs> this guy really is. Like, uh, yeah, he's funny. I like him. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. Yeah, he's like a Prince Charming fella, huh? I do. But I also speak <laughs> from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They I do. must be expressed. He actually just admitted that he does. <laughs> sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone this needs to hear them. Guy. Some things are better kept quiet. <laughs> what a clown. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Right. This feels a lot. You know what? I'd rather have this guy around us than the broken. The broken was just miserable. Here we go. The interior of the cabin Ooh. is clean and elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I... I don't want to take the knife again. I think I'm gonna go with a knifeless run. <laughs> Let, let's go with the... The mirror, mirror is here once more. We know that nothing is in there. We've seen ourselves before. Let's just go in the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned Ooh, along the wall. I got chills. I just got chills on my arms. The heart. basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Oh, this is lovely. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. <laughs> the narrator, you shut... Wow, you need to... Get a hobby, bro. <laughs> you need to get a fucking hobby, man. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Oh, really now? Really, really, really. Hello? Is someone there? <gasps> wow, it's a lot more light than I thought. What the fuck? It's a little bit more like... Huh, bouncy even. Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last Shut time. Shut up. I can hear wedding bells already. <laughs> Let's not talk too soon. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over the top, <laughs> over the top fawning. Yeah, this guy he really has the hots. Like, look, I'm normal about her too, but let's not do a lot. Here. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the oh, princess. Oh my sweet baby Jesus! Oh wall. my goodness! Oh my God! <laughs> the, the Lulu is strong. Yo, if I'm the Lulu, then I don't mind what I'm looking at. What a cutie pie! 
What a lovely dress. Ah. <laughs> Should I kill her? I mean, we don't even have the blade. It's too late for that. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Shut the fuck up, dude. It, this guy's riz is just a little bit too much for me. It's not even riz. It's like too much of it. It's like if you pour too much riz into a bottle, it just overfills and pours out to the sides. Like, relax, my guy. You know she can't hear you, right? <laughs> She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. <laughs> I love him. He's a stupid ass bitch. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. Yep. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Mm. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. <laughs> God. All right. Compliments are not gonna work on me. And she called us a hero. That was nice. It feels good to be called that. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? I right, look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm a man. If a pretty lady just comes up to me and says, "Oh, my hero," I'm just like, "Oh, I am, I am set for the entire month." <laughs> Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. Yeah, but not like this. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. <laughs> He's kind of obnoxious a little bit. He's kind of like... A little draining, this smitten man. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. We don't have anything on us, though. I'm not... I'm not gonna hurt her. I'm not gonna hurt her. We not damned this the time. whole world. But everything reset. Nothing resets, you're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. <laughs> he does not like the fact that we're doing this. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. This guy is just gonna tip his fucking fedora at any point, I swear. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? Uh, she's harmless. She's not gonna hurt anyone, We man. never saw a world end. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let uh, anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract <laughs> you. Just lost do it. your job. <laughs> no, he's just a really big fan of hers. All. You killed me last time. It hurt a lot. Why did you do that? I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? What happened after I died? I have to ask. Did you end the world after you killed me back there? I mean, sh does she even know any of this? Rescue the princess. Let's try this. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. <laughs> you can cut off my arm. What? No, we're not gonna do that. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you <laughs> see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. <laughs> I just love how she was like, hey, you can cut it off again if you want to. So she remembers. Alright, she's just agreeable. What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Hmm. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? I mean, it, it is kind of weird, but... She didn't care last time. Yeah. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. 
Oh my god. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. <laughs> yeah, the, vo the hero seems like he's a little bit of the voice of reason. He has like his like, he's a little like, um, maybe this is kind of weird. Maybe it isn't. The narrator is just a complete asshole. You killed me last time and it hurt a lot. What if we said that? I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? What? What? No. Did we? <laughs> no, no, we didn't. We didn't. We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. It was in there, right? She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. Oh my god, this guy is a fucking kiss ass. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but before we started talking, did the world end? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Yeah. Would that have made you happy? Um. Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us Christ. happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. <laughs> this fucking guy is so obnoxious. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. <laughs> No, I don't want the world to end. I have no feelings, one way or the other, about the world ending. Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague. And I hope you brought a slow and painful ruin to all of them. Whoa. Let's go with that. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a misanthrope. Lucky for you, I did destroy the world. I destroyed all of it and made it awful for everyone. <laughs> Her saying that with that inflection is just fucking amazing. <laughs> I'd point out that she just admitted yeah, to obliterating yeah. the entire world, but I guess that wouldn't actually move you. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, it moves me. Whatever we do next, we should do our best to not let her out. Ooh, look at the hero. He's actually a little bit resilient. Oh, that's interesting. He, he's being a little bit like, hmm, cautious, you know? That's saying something. Because the hero has been the most like outward, like, hey, let's not kill her. Let's not do this. And now suddenly he's a little bit hesitant. But have you seen her angelic face? She should get a pass. She just wanted to make us happy. By destroying the world? Apparently, yes. Mm. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. <laughs> that's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. <laughs> something is a, something is not right, and I feel it. Maybe I maybe the hero is right. She took that in stride, to a surprising extent. Yeah, it is unsettling. An almost unsettling extent, actually. Mm -hmm. That's because she's perfect. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? Maybe. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. Horrid <laughs> little voice. Rescue the princess. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards oh, no. the princess, I'll... you will what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Mm. I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My <laughs> passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. <laughs> what? You wouldn't. I would. <laughs> They're just fighting with each other right now. I'd listen to him if I were you. 
He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? Good point. <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly <laughs> slide her the hand from her he just did. <laughs> That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. <sighs> She's so pretty. <laughs> She's really pretty. Oh my god. But it's like... It feels too good to be true. Something about this is not right. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. Mm. I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. Like, normally this would be cute and nice and Jesus... Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it is nice. I just don't feel good about this. Damn, she's good looking. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. <laughs> Mr. Romance. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? <laughs> Come on now, man. What do we do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? We leave. And then we have to, our whole lives to figure out what to do next. What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his Damn, heart. Damn, he's roasting his ass. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She seems a little aimless. She doesn't even know what she wants. <laughs> yeah. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? She's so cute. You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... She almost seems like a vessel right now. Like, she's not even, like, aware of she, what she wants or where she is, it feels like to me. The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. Oh, <laughs> look at her eyes. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Oh my god. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> What? I want you to tell me what you want There must be something you want Do you want to end the world? Uh, I just want to leave We can figure out the rest later Okay, let's let's do this I just want to make you happy What? What? Whoa She can't just want to make us happy Did her what the fuck? It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. What? There must be something you want. I just want to make you happy. What the fuck? Is she broken? What's going on? She <laughs> fucking... Her art style is changing, What's man. What's going on is she's lying to you. Only she isn't a good liar. Are you starting to trust me now? What? What would make you happy? I just want to make you happy. <laughs> what is this shit? This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this isn't right. You can say that again. I fail to see the problem here. She's just sweet on us. You don't have to act like it's a big deal. Ugh. The music, the fucking music. You have to want something more than just making me happy. Okay, I'll find something else to want if that makes you happy. Oh my fuck! Is it just me, or does it feel like we're alone right now? Like we're the only ones here? Yeah. Huh! Oh, shit! 
You don't get the chance to ask another question, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Every return. No. She was our perfect match. No, she wasn't, man. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? What the fuck? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? <laughs> Dude, this fucking game! What is happening? This... this doesn't feel right. It feels... yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? Preen? What the fuck is preen? This guy... The voices feel small and distant as you approach. Let's look. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's how burns cleave themselves. Ah, I see. What the fuck now? You are at the cabin. Oh, oh my god. Alright, approach her. Let's see. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Um... Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Okay. Are you the same being as you were before? How much has changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. What does it feel like to change like this? I, I, I cannot believe what I am playing right now. Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. <sighs> it feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Mm. This game is so good. This soundtrack is super fucking pretty. I just joined, I'm scared. I've been here and I'm like, freaking the fuck out. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. And what I am is different from what I was. <sighs> I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. <laughs> Bobby's, this is like becoming one of my favorite games. Like, I, th this is just far too fucking interesting. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm gonna kill you, right? When I go back, it's as if invisible walls closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. <laughs> Yo, Fire Dog, name for the super. Did you expect a soul-searching journey when you woke up this morning? No the fuck I didn't. I thought this was like a scary horror game. And well, it, it does have horror elements to it. And it's very dark and gritty. 
but man, I feel like there are like a lot of things I want to discuss. Like, you, you have been kinder to me than anyone else. Thank you. Oh my God. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Isn't there an option to actually attack the entity? What does this do for us though? Like seriously. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. <sighs> do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. A gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. So I'm guessing this is where the area, the game is like. It constitutes the endings that you get. So I feel like no matter what happens, all these princesses that we fabricate through our choices will come to this point. So you don't have any preferences on how do you like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. Uh, uh, I don't want to hurt you. The more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but they are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and you are something more than that, too. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. Hmm. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side. For I would not know your absence. Okay. I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. <laughs> that fucking shit scared me. Oh my god. <laughs> that happened so suddenly. Stream has been fun, guys. I gotta get a haircut. Have fun with the rest of the stream. Yo, thank you so much for staying with us. Mwah. Holy shit. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. Alright, so we're back here again. You're on a path in the woods. Oh, and at the end of that so path is a cabin. Cool. And in the basement of that, you're here. You probably like skip all this, right? What do I want to do this time? Turn around and leave. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Nope. <laughs> That's actually an option. Nope. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Yeah, sure of that, bro. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. We're really just That's walking strange. away. Huh? It looks like this path... Also oh. leads to the hey. cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after what all. What the fuck? Turn around and leave again, again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably yes. selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Forever. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not killing the princess. You're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing Stakes this. Stakes and consequences aren't emotional blackmail. They're facts of life, and if you had an ounce of maturity, you'd understand that. Mm. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. I love how, like, <laughs> we're so fussy now. <laughs>
Oh, would you look at that? What You're the at fuck? the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Hmm. Hmm. There's no fighting this, is there? I have. I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh yeah. Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this There's place. always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. Ah. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. Ooh, what is that? At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the changed. leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't huh? just a trick of light. What? Uh, that's a lot of cabins. <laughs> what the fuck? In every direction, there is a path oh, and a cabin. Shit. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite Infinite. fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. (laughs) Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care (laughs) more more about irritating me (laughs) than you do about the fate of the world. That's a lot of them. I don't know. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. One one princess per bubby. (laughs) Everyone gets a princess! You and you and you! All of you! Holy shit. Chap the stranger, what? What is this? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that what the path fuck? is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, yeah, look, it look. will be the end of the world. It's like a square, like a tiled wall. What the fuck is happening? Yep, okay, I'm heading to the cabin now, where I'm definitely going to slay the princess. <laughs> okay, no. Wait. Uh. <laughs> There's so many lying options. Silently proceed to the cabin. What? Yeah, let's You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. Oh, fuck. A warning before you go any further. (laughs) There's like a giant fucking wall around here now. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. All right. Okay. If we're stuck going in there... Maybe we should believe her. The contrarian. Maybe she isn't a liar. The contrarian. <laughs> what? Okay. We have a new voice. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. All right, let's go. The cabin interior is wrong. What? A confusing patchwork of many what cabin interiors, fuck? all projected across what's almost the same space. It's all shifted, an inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. Okay. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths. He's wiggly. Its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. What do I do? If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, 
grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? What the fuck does she look like now? No, we're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect. What is no happening? no idea what we're dealing with. It looks like things are breaking apart and like reality itself doesn't really seem to be in place. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Nothing. Because you're going to pull yourself together. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know what I want from this this run. This is so interesting. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. <sighs> How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job. So you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on <laughs> loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. I love this guy. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Alright. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. Oh shit. Okay, I, I really don't know what I want from this run. I'm not too sure if taking a knife is a good idea in this situation. I, I almost want to. We can go in there without the blade. Ah, take the blade and toss it out the window. Can we do that? We might need it. Ugh, this is so stressful. This game is stressing me the fuck out. Um, um, give me the blade. You I'll take, take the it. blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. True, true. Okay, fine, you took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way, thumb at the bottom, will look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. <laughs> Just make a choice. <laughs> Alright. Hold the blade the other way. You switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. Oh, you. Yes! Isn't this so much better? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. <laughs> It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. Yeah, get the cursor. <laughs> That's so cool. Throw the blade out the window. Ah, <laughs> yes! Do it! <laughs> Seriously. Uh, you <laughs> throw the blade at the window, glass there we go. the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. <laughs> we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends? Oh, well. If the princess wasn't going to do it, the heat death of the universe was going to come for it eventually. Oh, that's right. I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. What's done is done. Good luck. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I feel like every time we do these things, I'm like, what does she look like this time? Exploring. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Ooh, we should look at ourselves. Wouldn't that be fun? Ah, uh, you won't be looking at yourself. I don't even speak here. There's definitely a mirror. Mm. There isn't. Why? I think he 
Does he see it or does he not actually see it? You insisting it isn't there just makes me want to look at it even more. Why would you lie about that? What's the point? I also want to look in the mirror. I want to see how handsome I am. Ah, uh, the fuck! This music right now. This fucking music's insane. Remain silent. I care about whether we're being lied to. If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else could he be hiding from us? I'm not lying to you, I promise. There isn't a mirror. Really. I feel like I'm going fucking mental. I'm going fucking insane. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub your hand against Look the cabin wall. This is just so. I hope you know how ridiculous cool. you look right now. Shut up. But it was there a second ago, and now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. Right. Let's go to the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases, all built from unidentifiable materials. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, uh, this is like my worst nightmare. It's like Mario 64 design. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head <sighs> throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. The kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. <laughs> An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. Nauseating nothing. Imagine tripping? Yeah, I would freak the fuck out if I were to fall all down these steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice. A disquieting collage of tone and personality drags up the stairs. Huh? Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? What is this? No. No, thank you. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Oh, don't be such a baby. Um. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna die. Ooh, the hero's scared. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. I don't like going down these steps. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. <laughs> the contrarian it just exists to fucking mess with the narrator. Take the hard stairs to the left, take the center staircase. Take the soft stairs to the right, let's just take the center. You step onto the center staircase. Paths wind out around you in all oh directions, God, I... each step branching into its own oh. staircases, which branch into their own staircases, and so on. You aren't quite sure if yours is taking you up or down, but yeah, at the very it feels least, like that. it's taking you somewhere. Like, is this going down or is this rising upward? This is so rough. You concentrate on where you are, careful not to stray onto any of the many splitting oh, branches oh that God. tempt you on all sides. You wouldn't want to have to backtrack to yours once you'd made a decision that took you someplace else. And so you take one careful, focused oh, step shit. after another, one foot down. Another foot down, another after that. You lose yourself in following the correct pattern, in following what looks to be the true path, the one that cuts straight down, or up, or maybe sideways. But no matter the direction it goes, it certainly is the most true path. You know that much. Where the fuck is this leading us? You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. 
Look at this. Look at this. What is happening? Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. <sighs> Physical sensations dull and then vanish. Look. Until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey. A continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. <laughs> the gods of our Consumption and betrayal, what? skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. But at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Can I help you? <gasps> what the fuck? That dude, 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 holy shit. Yo, it's a... Taco, have a good night. What the f That scared the shit out of me. I was so entranced in what the fuck he was saying. I was not expecting that hard cut. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. I was so entranced by that whole like spiel he was going on. That hard cut scared the fuck out of me. Can I help you? What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? Uh. <laughs> oh shit! That was a good one. That was good. Uh huh. I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. I I feel like this is the scariest princess so far. Like strangely enough. I mean, we've seen some crazy shit beyond this point, but that cut just kind of summarized my feelings towards this one. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. Holy fuck. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. <laughs> and, uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <laughs> You're here to- he's just being an ass, we remember. Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems, she seems normal? normal? What do you mean? Look at this! She looks so different now! Um... I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was here. What's your name? Getting down here was weird, like I was being pulled apart and put back together again. You know what happened to me. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? Is this a quiz? If you're here, then surely you know why I'm here. What is this, voice? What is this? But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. <laughs> as the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? Again? Have you been here before? Should we tell him? <laughs> nah, let him stew. Yeah. Right, I'm telling him. Yeah, we've been here before, but we never went to the cabin. We just turned around and left until... Until... It's hard to describe. Until the only thing we could see was the same cabin going on forever. And then you told us that the world ended and we died. And then we woke up and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with all the rest of it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? This... This doesn't really look like a prison anymore. 
Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not all... Ooh, new plan! Let's see if we can make even more of her. <laughs> more? There is more of you now. What's your name? Get, uh... I'm getting you out of here, trying to free her. I don't think that's gonna do anything. This is- what the fuck? This is like one giant set of options. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. I can't trust you. Leave her alone. Think about it. What? It's like a choice with multiple choices. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. Oh. I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. And what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? She fractures again. Who, who's the voice actress for her? Is this the same voice actress for every character? Because, Jesus, the range. Every print, uh, uh, this is one person doing the princess's voice. Holy shit. It is? She has fucking amazing range. It's insanely good. I don't like where this is going. It's beautiful. Neither do I, which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. Mm. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We could always start by retrieving the blade. The one he made us throw out the window. <laughs> I wasn't the one who threw it. <laughs> you dick, you're the one who wanted me to. Oh, come on, you told us to. Don't yeah. try to pass the blame now that it's come back to bite us. Well, if I'd known we'd be dealing with this, maybe I wouldn't have been so hasty with my suggestions. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Yeah, it's a little too Kind of hurts to think now. about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. Hmm. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. How many princesses can we make? What's your name? Princess. You can address me as your royal highness, or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. It doesn't matter. I've been down here for so long. What's the point of a name if there's no one around to use it? Hmm. None of them have names. How astute. I told you she was untrustworthy. <laughs> Getting down here was weird. I don't remember what it was like before I was in this place. Why would I know what happened to you? This is the trippiest one. Oh, I thought they would send something better to deal with me. If the stairs manage to chew you up, I will devour you. <laughs> All right. You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? I don't know. We're probably stuck down here forever, aren't we? There's no way out. I'm yeah, at least we have in. enough people to have a, a fucking party. <laughs> hey. If I let you out of here, what are you going to do? I don't think I can answer that question in a way you'd find meaningful. I just want to live my life. Mm, we have a good amount of princesses now. I'm not going to dance for you. I don't, I don't need that. Besides, you already know what I'm going to do. If you want to put an end to me, then put an end to me. Not a single real answer. At least aside from Miss Blood and Destruction. It's infuriating, isn't it? <laughs> Whose buttons are there for us to press? Whose skin is there for us to get under? Oh. Not exactly how I'd put it, but I don't disagree. There must be something we can do. Asking questions just seems to make things worse. This is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. You can do this. But how do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different? <laughs> Thank you, FIFA, for the super abort, abort, mayday, mayday! I, 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 I don't know what to do! Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part of the reason this situation has gotten out of hand. Uh, if you're trying to do the right thing, there's only ever been the one option, and that option is slaying her. Can't slay all of them. Just, just do something. Do anything. Do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. Yeah, I feel like I'm frame-trapped right now. What the fuck? 
Okay, this. Wait, that's not right. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot Whoa. lands, but it lands Whoa. different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. Mm -hmm. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. I was just about to mention, it's, uh, it's like a very, it's like a kaleidoscope. I was just about to say that. This is insane. You find the blade suddenly. Whoa! Once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Holy shit! Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. What the fuck? But this... We, we can't... Man, the fucking artwork is so sick. It's so sick. Do you not have anything <gasps> witty to say? Oh. I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. This is like when you grab like a windy Sunday and mix it together. Holy shit. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all falls apart. Oh my god. I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What, what happened, happened to, us? to us? What are, what we? are we? There are parts, parts of us that are dead, and the others, and the others they just, just don't fit. fit. They just don't fit. Mm -hmm. We can feel them moving around in spaces they, they, they don't belong. belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable. Ugh. Did you do this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, 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 can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Holy shit! We should help her. I think we did this. <laughs> yeah, we. I think we did. That. That is. This is not good. How surprisingly sincere. Uh, I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. Yes, of course. The contrary. What the fuck is wrong? It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please. please. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. It's gonna be okay. I'll do my best. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. No. You just destroyed everything. I'm not gonna fix you. It's, uh... No. Say nothing? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I, I really don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? But he'll never know if she hears your reply. She's gone. Memories She's gone. return. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? No, man. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is not the end for you, but it's not the end for me. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. He's just messing with us, right? All right. You approach the mirror. Let's have a look. Silence as you reach forward, they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Oh my god, you're withered, what the fuck? You find yourself in a long point once again. We know where we're at. You're at the cabin. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. <laughs> oh my god. All of me is changing. 
and yet the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant <laughs> contours of your soul. Just to think that this happened because we decided to go backwards. <laughs> like, what the fuck? The fact that we were like, I don't want to go in the cabin. This is the result of that choice. What the shit? And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. Mm. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. Huh. It doesn't make any... It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me. But it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? No, but I feel bad. If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. No, not really. It all seems too distant as soon as I'm near you. I have no opinion one way or the other. I just wanted to stop. Yes, you're torturing me, and I hate it. I think I hate you. Man. Let's go with this. It says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. Hmm. This is so insane. Look at all the options we have. I have you figured out. What's there in this? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves. But none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. What do you think of this vessel? This is so... <laughs> I'm actually a little bit like flabbergasted to how well the writing is and how everything seems to have a complete purpose. These ones are a contradiction. A winding kaleidoscope of paths and wall. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. Uh -huh. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Ooh, a rich and vibrant heart. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. still bring not care what I bring you next how many more vessels what is attacking the entity I don't want to do that I'm ready to go back I will be here when it is time for us to meet again ah uh, fuck this is a lot like emotionally there's a lot you're on a path in the woods and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. This truly is. <laughs> like, I am so glad that I was recommended this game because I am having a lot of fucking fun. Okay, so what can we do now? You're here. What can we do now? Let's see. All we can do, let's see. Sweet, I've always wanted to, yeah. Silently so continue to the cabin. You make your way. I'm a little curious to see what we can do this time. Yo, Maddie, thank you so much for the Superman. The interior blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let me see. Let me read this very quickly. Okay, so this is my take on the voices so far. 
Hero is a paladin or fighter. Broken's a warlock. <laughs> training is a rogue or a sorcerer. Stubborn is a barbarian. Sven, bard. Narrator is the dungeon master, obviously. I like that. I like how everyone has like a precise role in this story. And the fact that there are so many voices too. Yeah, I, I think what I want to do this time is grab the knife, welcome to the princess, don't even get, give her enough time to do anything and just stab her, right? That's exactly what I was thinking. Because the last time that we went up there, we gave her too much time to like, kind of, we were talking too much and then we tried to stab her, didn't give her enough time, ourselves enough time to kill her, so. Let's do that. Let's try it. Ah, uh, give the knife. You take the blade from the tape. Mm-hmm. I'll stab no talk. The door? Her voice. Exactly. Who's there? She sounds. Don't let it. F this was our first run. <laughs> this is this is the first time. This is when we first we saw. She was so bad though. She was such a baddie, bitch. Good. Oh my goodness! Did There's you see those hips? Reason. Sheesh. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes. She's so focused on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Still your nerves and walk forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. We save. All right. Wow, look at these saves. Oh, no talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. <sighs> I'm not dropping the blade. Drop the blade, slay the princess. So... Last time we did this route, we were just like kind of exploring, talking a little bit. We didn't really do too much, and then that's what resulted in us dying immediately. Uh, take the shot, drop it down low. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't know what I want to do right now. Stab. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Oh shit, this is different, this is different. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Whoa, we need to give her enough time this time. She, it's over. Look at her, the fear in her eyes, holy shit. She probably was not expecting us to do this. Oh. <laughs> this is it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Yes? Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? I don't like it when these- when the text gets read, I'm just like- <laughs> It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Oh. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. Wow. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? It never really, it, it never is, man, it never is. Of course it is, she's dead. <laughs> I'm not sure, I feel like she has some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not, it's just way too easy. It's over. You could check her sleeves if you want, but I can assure you that there's nothing hidden up there. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I really don't think you should do that. Ah, uh, the music and the tone and the way that the narrator is talking is making me believe that she is still alive. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? <sighs> I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. Uh, the princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming I back. I don't know, from that. man. 
Move the blade. Check for a pulse. You're right, she's dead. Just get out of here. Yeah, I feel like if we check for a pulse, she's gonna like grab us and do something crazy. Move the blade. If I take the blade from her chest, then I'll have the knife. Mm. Yo, Rainy, thank you so much for the membership. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Just leave, don't worry about it. <laughs> Bummies, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Oh, fuck. Fuck around and find out? <laughs> this is so crazy. Mm. I'd rather be armed. Yeah, I feel the same. Let's leave. I'm scared. Just leave her. All right, let's go the other way. Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Guys, oh no. What is about to fucking happen? What, what, am I, what am I about to fucking see in this fucking, this goddamn video game? Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? We have. You did kill someone. If greater good <laughs> or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. <laughs> but that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, the silence is deafening, yeah. It's just like, you can kind of still hear it. It's just silence, but you can hear it. Leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. <sighs> what happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. Mm -mm -mm. You'll be happy. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, the narrator is, um, his tone has, uh, changed. I was kind of hoping you would get a better ending for saving the world. What's done is done. And there's no going back now. Mm -hmm. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. <sighs> Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Ugh, no, I don't like this shit! Psst. Hey, we're not just gonna stay here forever, right? I, there's nothing we can do. Did you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. Hell no. <laughs> Do you have any idea how to get the heck out of here? Of course we are. I like it here. <laughs> oh, fuck. I do, but you're probably not going to like it. What? The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. Uh, I really don't like that idea. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. Mm, true. That is the only way we can get out, technically. He's right. It's the only way out. Mm. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. But there's nothing here for us, man. We're staring at a door doing nothing. With nothing. Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. It's tricking us to being happy. Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? 
anything to get out of this hell. You're right. I didn't like that idea. We're just going to stick around and do nothing. <laughs> At least for a little while longer. How astute. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you, and you shouldn't do it. Mm. In a sense, we die, but looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing, constantly, forever. I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. That really is a living hell. Like doing nothing forever in a room like this, sitting here. Doing absolutely fucking nothing? <laughs> like, dude, I would hate to have this be an eternity for myself. <sighs> I get me working with this in the background is a bad idea because it's so distracting. <laughs> I apologize. This is actually very, very fun. I would go insane. Yeah, like, with my ADHD... <laughs> In this fucking room? I'm like, bopping off the wall. You the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'd just be jumping around and shit. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. You'd better be right about this. I'd be pretty upset if we die, die. <laughs> if we die, die. I'm not risking death. Every your weird hunch. Anything to get me out of this hell. Yes. <sighs> Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... you... ingrate? Well, there's... okay, it would be different if we had, like, Wi-Fi box, like, right here. Oh, an Xbox right here, maybe. Maybe a PC. Like, it would be so different if we had, like, an infinite supply of corn dogs somewhere, but we... there's nothing! There's nothing! <laughs> it would be so different if we had the intranet. <laughs> <laughs> the intranets. The internets. All right, Fine. we're out. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Not even a bed. That will sleep on the floor. The intranet. Princess's body is dusty. Holy blood, shit! Though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Oh my god. She's really gone. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. The end. Nice knowing you. Whoa, these fucking names are scary. The Spectre. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. What the fuck? Why is it called a Spectre? What the fuck is this bullshit? He should have given us those little key toys. Yeah, here's the- th If there was jingly keys- Dude, when I was a kid, when I was a baby giddy, jingly keys, hype as fuck, okay? If I- if I just had jingly keys in that cabin, I would be okay. Like, some kind of fidget, like, toy or anything. Anything but nothing! You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. <sighs> Let's approach the cabin. A warning. Before you she will lie, she she won't be a problem. Voice of the cold. <laughs> Voice of the cold. The interior of the cabin is cold, a soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. <sighs> Look at the, the wallpaper just ripped down, being like corroded. <sighs> The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. 
<laughs> yeah, I do like this door too. Like surprisingly, this door, it's not the fanciest, but it's not like the worst either. It's like, it probably was very beautiful at some point, but it looks a little run down. This entire place looks like it could have been beautiful. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Ooh. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Ooh, this voice is nice. Take the blade and enter the basement. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not too sure of what's in this basement. It's going to be friendly necessary, necessarily, but hmm, I don't know. And I have no idea either. I feel like more often than not, when we don't take the blade, we get the more interesting choices, I feel like. Just talking out Undertale style. All right, let's just go. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, Slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Uh, this is reminding me of Resident Evil 7. Like the Baker residence, like the big ass like estate that they had. This this is really giving me that. I'm feeling it. Sorry, give me I really want to stick around, but it's getting very late. Well, thank you, Cam, for sticking around as long as you did. This might be our last like run, but so far this is amazing. Thank you so much for joining us, Cam. The room below what? is silent. Nobody's here, naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. The voice of the cold, the way that he speaks, is like, funnily enough, chilling. I feel like shivers running down my spine every time he talks. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, oh the form of the princess God. comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. <laughs> She's just a fucking skeleton. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set <laughs> eyes stare up at you, what? followed by a mischievous, skeletal grin. What is this? Wait, wait, give me a second. up to join the head. Hey! Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? She's lovely. G -g 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 ghost Oh my god. Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? She's lovely. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. This might be my favorite. <laughs> Goldie of the floor, what is your wisdom? <laughs> Thank you so much for the month, man. Mwah. Thank you, Zim. Holy shit. Dude, this might be my favorite one so far. She's lovely. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit. <sighs> Gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. 
<laughs> oh, yeah! She's great! Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across She's your skin. She's so pretty! She's so pretty! Yeah, this is my favorite so far. Hi. So she has a body. And she's right there. We could probably grab her and kill her again. If we wanted to. We don't even need a blade. She looks fragile enough to me. <laughs> she can shiver my timbers. <laughs> that makes no sense. She really is beautiful. <laughs> I love it. She's she's so cute. Is it like Funnily enough, this is like the cutest one so far. Like, well, for me, like, my goodness. Grab her. <laughs> Wait, see how things play out. Command grab her. <laughs> do we command grab her? What, what is, I, even if we do, she's a ghost. There's no way we can do that. Command Before grab she can suspect a thing, you lunge forward and grab her arm. You feel substance for the briefest of moments, <gasps> oh, yeah. but then you feel nothing at all. As though all you've done is clutch at empty air. Hmm. 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 You're adorable when you're confused. <laughs> My god, look at her. Oh, even in death, you have such lovely eyes, my dear. But I didn't say you could touch me. Um, uh, what the fuck? Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job, or what? I take it back! I take it the fuck back! Mm. If I knew that I have to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? You don't look dead, killer. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her mm -hmm. eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel dead, either. <sighs> she lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. Mm -hmm. I've tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. I just want to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. After all, you owe me. Oh, <laughs> dude, dude. Oh my god. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? Oh. She is. And I hope I don't need to Christ. explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in... There is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Mm. Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. God. I think this, okay, this is my favorite princess so far, and this is my favorite voice. The voice of the cold. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Mm. What if I say no? This would just be temporary, right? You will leave once we're out of the kin? Sounds great. <laughs> Let the princess possess you. Do it to me. The princess <sighs> swims through the air in front of you pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. I love her. There's a hunger in her gaze. Thanks for the body, killer. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? 
<laughs> the narrator is just putting up with our shit. See you soon. Mm -hmm. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. Mm. I'm not sure I like this. C can we get a do-over? Ooh, what's gonna happen? <gasps> I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. <sighs> The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing yeah. violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. Ah, uh, the word ripple in this... Uh, uh. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Get up. You've still got a job to do. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision <sighs> swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is pretty unique. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor? Are they also supposed to be you? Hmm? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... Yeah, go on. Finish the thought. What are you? We have so many fucking voices in our heads now. I'm... Um, a voice? I'm me, is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. Do you have to deal with this annoying bickering all the time? Yes. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. Hopefully, they'll all go away once we leave this place. I don't know how you can tolerate all of this noise. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. <laughs> you don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. So you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. That's rude. <laughs> I want to say, that's fucking mean. <laughs> kind of like me, actually. Oh. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously, she's nowhere to be seen. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. Mm. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. So she could hear that. Oh, shut up. Stop trying to manipulate everyone. <gasps> oh, shit. Wait a minute. Are you telling me she can actually, like, she's going to fuck with the narrator, it feels like, almost. Or don't, actually. It doesn't really matter. Because you won't be around to do this for much longer. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just, whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. <laughs> Man, I can't think straight. There's too much noise. Leave the basement. Then don't think. Just move. Y yes, mommy. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? <laughs> it would be nice to finally get him. I guess we'll just have to see what happens when we leave. But if I'm stuck in here, I'll be making some renovations. It's too crowded. Let's leave the basement. We're out of here. Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. Mm, the fact that we're a little heavier, too. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. <laughs> Wait. If she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? Ah, uh, technically, technically. It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. 
Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Hmm. Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, oh, look, the, the body continues its <laughs> ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. It's because he can't stop me. Why do you think he sent you here? <laughs> she's so sassy. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but she's not wrong. Yeah, she's probably my favorite one so far. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And wine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. <sighs> Take the blade and trudge forward. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. Finally! Finally! You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> What's up, gamers? Have we slain the princess yet? Okay, Vixie, here's the thing. We have slain the princess multiple times, and she has killed us multiple times. There has It's almost like a limbo of infinite amounts of, like, slaying and then getting killed and then meeting new princesses and... So many voices. <laughs> so many fucking voices. Open the door. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't Shit. enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it, and then the door groans <laughs> open. It's like a scary version of the Stanley Parable. You're, you know what, Maddie? You're not even wrong. <laughs> that is a very good way to look at this game. I like that description. Collapse to the ground, you and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Oh, no. Uh, Brown. Yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. She's still with us. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yeah, but that <laughs> thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world, but not in it, or... <laughs> never what the fuck? Alright, let's see if I'm stuck with you forever. <laughs> Hopefully. You uh, feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. Guessing not. This world would end well, right? You lived up to your end of the bargain, so I'll live up to mine. Thanks. I'll mention it. <laughs> I think this is where I'm meant to be. Oh, no. There she goes, man. <sighs> There's a mirror. Damn, dude. Don't get the chance to respond. No, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. What is that a mirror? Let's look into it this time. You approach this, the mirror. This doesn't feel- Ignore him. You have to look. The voice is from small distance you approach. Okay. Selling it up. What the fuck are we to look at this time? Ooh. You've unraveled. What the fuck? Okay. Here we go. You find yourself in the long, quiet woods again. You are at the cabin. 
There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. Hmm. Do you think anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We <laughs> are real. Nothing is an idea that yeah, dwells the in the absence of something. Awesome. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna look at mirrors differently. <laughs> Every time we look into a fucking mirror now, I'm just gonna be like, oh shit. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is vaporous. She is a dream vaporous. for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding. Understanding heart. Ah, oh, understanding. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. They call him the narrator. He wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Whoa. Let's try that one. No. Their minds are empty, existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Oh, that's so creepy to think about. He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. He does. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does. When I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. I don't think that's going to help anything, though. <laughs> he does, and when I find him, I'm going to kill him. He does, and you're going to keep that to yourself. <laughs> this game is giving me an existential crisis? Yeah, it, that's what it feels like. If he is anything other than us, he isn't worth the effort to destroy. Wow. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Alright. If I... If this is the last time. Is there anything you'd like for me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Hmm. I say we leave the person stuck in the basin for the last one. So wh what can we do? I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Alright. <sighs> okay, so it's- we need one more. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path Four. is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, I think right now would be the proper time to ask for some backseating. I'm trying to, I, I want to ask for those who have played the game and have been with me this entire time. What, how do we get to the last vessel? This is so fucking insane. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I've played every route I offer. Leaving her in the basement, that route is insane. Leaving her in the basement. Huh. Alright. Okay. 
You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Thank you, Bobby. You'll find the princess within. <laughs> what a happy ending with her meat suit. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted so in a fine you layer of dust. Really? The only furniture of note Hey, Matito, thank you so table. much for the month. Perched I'm evolving. Just want to say being able to laugh and enjoy blade. with all of you. Just for a bit, makes my day less shitty. Thank you. Matito, mwah. thank you so much for the membership. And of course, you belong here with us, puppy. Thank you so much for the month. All right. Experiment. Play around during two chapters so you can get more versions. Take the knife in and talk to her. At some point, you'll reach leaving her in the basement. Ah, okay, so I'll take the knife. The blade. You have to take the knife with us. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess. I I am honestly, like, I cannot... This, this will be our last run, and then the I stairs. want to talk about my entire experience. <laughs> so fucking far. <laughs> Who's right. there? She sounds, don't let it fool you. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good <laughs> luck, hero. All right. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. All right, so at this point, we can just do anything, right? We just chat her up for a bit, and then at some point, we're going to get the option to leave, if I'm correct on that. I think you can trap her later if you free her now. Really? Anything. All right, let's do it. Let's, uh... I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. <laughs> but you don't have to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. She makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming. <laughs> I would dare. <laughs> Let's say, right there. Man, I I, I just can't believe you. Oh, oh no, I'll just be I'll be quiet. I'm not gonna talk about my thoughts about this game yet. <sighs> the blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. I feel like I'm going to really regret and be afraid of like what we're about to see. I really, really don't. Oh my god. It's getting good now, right? But I will have to leave. I will catch up on the VOD. Thank you so much for playing. Of course, of course. Thank you so much for joining us, Nam. You take it easy, buddy. Mwah. Thank you. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? How would I get you out of here? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay. You've talked enough. <laughs> what is this? What relationship are you coming on? No, she's not. <laughs> Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. True. How would I get you out of here? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? You can't. Don't bother. Hmm. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... 
Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Ooh, look at her face. Look at her face, dude. Look at her fucking face. She's so cool. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? She is. I'm sure of it. Do you? <laughs> I know what I've been told. Whether or not I've been... Whether or not I believe it is an entirely different matter. Lie remains silent. So, you're not going to share? How pointless. If you want to talk, I'll talk. But this isn't talking. Hmm. What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness, or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. <laughs> She's a girl boss, like the way she talks. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Okay. How long have you been down here? Too long. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Okay, we talked enough. Oh? Have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Mm, slay the princess. Keep her locked away. Oh, this is this is the option that we want, right? I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can know each other a bit better. I decided what to do. Oh shit! <laughs> yes, no, those are two different answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit um do it lock her up <laughs> oh shit what what happens if i do this i'm scared i'm scared but i'm gonna do it anyways here we go that seems like a pretty good compromise leaving her alive is too risky if you don't deal with her soon she will find a way out oh fuck one way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Oh, <laughs> God! You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Uh, I hope so too. Let's get you out of here. Examine the chains. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking you up in the basement. <laughs> oh, fuck! Okay, they're giving me, like, a second option to, like, rethink about this. Bubbies, what do you think is good? <laughs> fuck! Yeah, the, uh, uh, I made my choice. Lock her up. Lock her up? <laughs> okay, fuck it. Alright. Sorry, lady. You gotta go. You're staying in here. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. Oh, fuck. You're making a mistake. You turn your back wow, to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing! I don't think she's what bluffing. What the fuck?! Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. <laughs> oh my god! No, we're sticking to the plan and locking her up down here. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. Alright, see you, lady. You close the basement door, the locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with a heavy wooden table it's not gonna that once do held shit. the blade. Okay, we can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're 
they're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Uh -huh. Oh shit! What the? F no, dude, no. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long, anyways. Huh? It's probably a good idea to try to get back on the good side. Guys, <laughs> bobbies. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like oh, something out of a nightmare. Life. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. <laughs> Fuck man, we the Lorraine! You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. Really wanted me to try to kill you that fucking badly it lady. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No. A pounding. It the right would be all you want. Oh, you guys, these my guilty conscience. <laughs> so all of it was just snack, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. I can be innocent and harmless if I wanna be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. Uh -huh. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped and the door to the basement is ajar. <laughs> it's not broken and the table shoved out of the way. I don't like this shit! I don't like this one... Fucking bit, man. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. What the fuck is this bullshit? You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. <laughs> what is this? It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer. <laughs> one oh, my oh my god! Time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by oh, one. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Even at her, like, scariest, she still is, like, kind of cute. Or maybe. Oh I my can't god. take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god, what the fuck? What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. <sighs> your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? <laughs> it can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. <sighs> oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! The nightmare! You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path the is nightmare. a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin oh, fuck. is a princess. The nightmare. That's the name of the chapter. It's called a fucking nightmare. You're here to slay him. A warning. Before you go, she will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you. I don't think it doesn't matter. Wait, voice don't of the paranoid? Anyone. Voice of the paranoid. What the fuck? The paranoid. I don't like this. I don't like this shit. <sighs> Bring back cold. Yeah, cold was awesome. <laughs> like cold was actually pretty fucking sweet. Here we go. Here we go. 
The interior of the cabin Holy is plain, the smooth shit. wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting oh my basement fucking doorway. God, what is what is this? What is this? I see some bullshit. I see eyes. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm getting cold chills. Hold on. What happened to the door? It's just an empty frame. What the fuck? She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? Mm-hmm. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. What the fuck am I about to see? What am I about to see? I'm grabbing that fucking blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. At this point, I'm not even too sure the fucking blade can save us. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something... I don't know. Better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? <laughs> a bomb? That's not gonna help us. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you a don't lose faith in bomb, yourself. Dude. All right. I just calm down. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Mm, let's just go. You cross over the threshold no and onto a series of isolated way. steps, suspended in darkness. Something about like stairs going down into the abyss is frightening. Look at that. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. <laughs> the air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. Mm. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. <laughs> her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Come back. She must have you confused with someone else. You really don't remember, do you? It doesn't matter. We need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. I mean, all we have is a fucking knife. It's not going to do anything for us. <laughs> like, at this point, we're fucked either way. How hard is it to throw a knife? <laughs> I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimist right now. Step off into the void between the stairs. I'm gonna to talk to her. Didn't you hear my warning a minute ago? She can't be trusted. Talking won't do you any good. Oh my fuck. Something tells me she isn't gonna be very keen on talking anyway. Uh, yeah. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two what? loose rows of white wooden planks, suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones, visible against the inky black of the basement, I mark where the floor should be, this. forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. And right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Alright. Are you really not gonna comment on how weird this place is? It's fucking... It's... No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Ilya, take it easy. <laughs> I'll see you soon, buddy. Thank you so much for joining us. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. All right. We'll just... I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find <laughs> you. 
Oh, don't say it like that! Go back the way you came. Let's just go right. You right. turn to the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. Mm -hmm. There you are. I told you I what was going to find What in the fuck you. is this? As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. No shit! Your arms quickly fall. Look at it. Looks like a mask. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. Oh my god. This design is fu It's got porcelain doll or some shit. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. Goth mm, girl. I... <laughs> I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Mm. As your blood begins to coagulate, oh, it's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. <laughs> Shit! What the fuck, man? What is happening? What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... Okay, okay whatever you were doing, <laughs> please just start doing it. My, again. my heart just skipped a fucking beat, bro. Whoa, relax, relax. Holy shit. What is happening? Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. I hate this. Liver, I hate this. Nerves. Balls. Heart. Again, nerves, your eyes shoot liver, open as you gasp for nerves, breath. Heart. Holy shit, nerves, she's so cute though. She's so cute, god damn it. Oh my god. Can't decide what you want to do, can you? Nerves. Oh well. Standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. Oh Liver. Liver. She isn't attacking us. Why? Yeah. The why doesn't matter. She's she already really proven cute. her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Liver. <laughs> what the fuck? Why won't you finish me off? Liver. What get am I to you alive? What do you want from me? I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you're here too. I don't think I can move without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Oh, so you want what I want? To get the fuck out of here. I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. If you need me alive, then why do you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try being so being nice to me? <laughs> why would you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Liver. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing mm. her masked lips close to your ear. God, she's so fucking cool. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. She slowly <laughs> runs her velvet glove across the base of her neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Come on. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Your back, lungs, liver. <laughs> this is fucking insane. <laughs> what is this? One moment, and then you're gone. Just like that. Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. Oh, 
liver. But that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? Liver, I've already nerves, done that. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. We have lungs, a look at this. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, and if I let you out, what then? If you are separate nerves, ways. Definitely not. Nerves, heart, if you're what nerves, I need to leave this place, nerves, chances heart, are you're pretty lungs, useful. Liver, I think I'll keep you right by my side. A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. Don't worry. I'll make sure to take good care of you. I promise. <laughs> oh my god! You're a lunatic. You know that right? I am what I am. And right now, I'm in control. So, you might want to be a little nicer than me. Why the fuck did she have to be so pretty though? She raises one long gloved finger, its tip hovering just over your skin, seeming to enjoy the lingering threat. But she withdraws, sparing you another momentary glimpse of death. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, 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 you're alive, aren't you? <laughs> I you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of into it. Yeah, she, she's so damn hot. We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. I'm glad you're seeing things my way. Just killing myself. Don't say that. What if I refuse to let that out? What happens then? We're stuck down here together until you change your mind. Static, and a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers in your ear. No, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver. Only until your heart finally gives up. Dude, the paranoia is going fucking insane. And now, when you die. I'll find myself somewhere new, and before too long, you'll be there too. That's how this all works, right? This doesn't end until you let me out. And a lot can happen before then. I'm sure I can get creative. Hey, now! Alright. I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. I know. You told me last time. Look at this pose. Look at this pose. Look at this pose. Holy shit. Destroy is such an unenlightened way of putting it. So sudden, so violent, so little nuance. I'm not going to destroy the world, but I am going to hold it in my hands and squeeze it. I'm going to make it afraid, just like I've made you afraid. The world needs fear, doesn't it? Every terror I bring would make the good times so much better. She is fucking terrifying. So what harm is there really in letting me out? Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. People will die if you do them what you've done to me. But everyone dies eventually. They're all full of wet, writhing things, and in the end, each and every one of them gets unwell. She does not give a fuck. And then those things get to become a new everybody, just to come apart all over again. All I want is to be there for it. I want to watch it happen, and maybe do a little unwinding myself. Is that really so much to ask? <laughs> I'm so invested in me too, like what the fuck am I gonna do? Being around you is agony. I'm not gonna stick around. If you want to work together, can you at least drop this whole organ shutting down situation? Like I said, I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. <laughs> if evil white views. Being around you is agony. Oh, we both know that you don't have a say here, so you should just look on the bright side. Yeah, I'm not sure the bright side is for you, but I'm positive you can find it if you look hard enough. <laughs> I'll just die then. <laughs> How about I just kill you instead? Uh, I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not gonna try to kill you. Toss the blade and remain with the your nightmare. What? And then we'll wind up right back where we started. Round and round we'll go. I wonder what will be different next time. Maybe you'll actually be able to move a limb. Who knows? But I'm always going to win. Gibby wins. 
shit. Are you sure about that? Give it enough tries and I'm out of it eventually. And maybe you don't get to come back like I do. Ooh, shit. Is that a bet you're willing to take? Imagine climbing a mountain of lifetimes. And when you finally reach the summit, when you finally win, the only view you find is me. And then I push you. And you've been tumbling all the way down those millions upon millions of battered and broken pieces of you that couldn't make the cut. Uh-huh! What then? Would you have it in you to climb again? It sounds like a lot of effort for nothing. When instead we can just leave this place together. Hand in hand. Mm. How would I just kill you instead? Princess cocks her head, neck cracking uncomfortably. Oh, fuck. You can't help but imagine a smile carve its way from ear to ear on the other side of her mask. Thinking about that knife, are we? Put that little theory to the test. See how it plays out. But I don't think you're going to life when This is legitimately the most terrifying version of her, dude. Are you down bad for this girl? I want to get the fuck out of here. Because even if you make me dead, you are not getting out of here. Uh -huh. This place is mine. And I'm not giving you the stairs unless I'm leaving with you. <laughs> I'm scared. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. Are you serious? Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You fling the blade into the void, denying yourself the opportunity to ever slay her and finish your mission. I don't want to leave with her. Nobody's happy here, but maybe it's for the best. You poor deluded thing. If a single moment of bravery changes you into something you're not. I am what I am, and you're always going to be a Dude, look at this fucking illustration. Oh my god. She raises a hand to her mask no and pulls it down. Holy shit. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. She took her face off. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth. Death. Birth again, decay and bloom, a million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. <laughs> what is going on? No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts them. Wow. Let me out. A lonely soul in a room by itself. Weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Look at her. Let me out. A reprieve. A good life. Love. Ew. Children. A steady career. <laughs> recognition from your peers. Here one moment. Gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Holy shit. Look at this. Oh my god. Let me out! Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger. Rage. Distance. Poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. Mm. That's crazy. Let me out! No, 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 no. No, no, what's, what's happening to us? Let me out! This is all too much. I... What? Can't keep going. The narrator... What? You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? The fucking music is haunting. But he doesn't respond? The narrator's just like, okay, I'm out. Bye. Oh, what the fuck? I think I broke you. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. <laughs> Your body is dead, but you live on. Chapter 3? What the fuck? Whoa! The moment of charity. <laughs> Clarity. 
in the Give me shit. money. Shit. <laughs> what? Is this what a chapter where I get money? What are you doing? <laughs> the chapter of clarity. I need to take a sip of water. Mmm. <laughs> this is the Mr. Krabs route. Oh my god. We're still with the paranoid. Chapter 3. There was a princess, I think. It's all so fuzzy. It hurts when I try to remember. <sighs> you shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... Nothing You've happened. already been here, <laughs> Thank you, FIFA. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's a bunch of fucking trees uprooted from the fucking ground. <laughs> I guess it, it feels so long ago, almost... Oh, this like is rare, apparently? Mmm. Oh, it's like we did that. <laughs> we have to let her out. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay her. Slay? We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we're supposed to let the her out. It's really the only way this works out for us. If you think about it, she's the one with power here. Nobody <laughs> else can do much of anything. No, we were supposed to keep her trapped there forever. Hey, the stubborn zero. I think. We're supposed to be unfeeling. Cold! How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much Haunted. fear everywhere. What? Well, all the voices are here. There's nothing for us to do. We've already hey, tried contrarian. everything. We love her. So we have to set her free. Oh my god, not this man. Can we love something that hates Skeptic. us? Skeptic, who the fuck? Can we love something that hurts us? To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. Why are there so many of us? The there cheated. There supposed to be so many of us. This is bad. You need to get a grip. Yeah, right, what did you let happen? How many times have you been here? <laughs> the gang's all here. I think they're all wrong. That's a good question. How many times have y'all been here? Many. Many, many, many times. <laughs> Voices assemble. <laughs> it feels like we've been here forever. But it also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. Oh, not the broken. This guy can go away. <laughs> yes, we just have to do what she says and then everything will be fine. It won't. Mm. It will be for us. She said so. You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. Hey, Lura, take it easy. Thank you so much for joining us and have a good day at work. Mwah. Thank you. But that doesn't make any sense. I only remember being here twice before this, and some of you don't seem to remember being here at all. Was I here? Was I here those other times? Did someone else make the decisions? What does here even mean, if you really think about it? Shut up. You were here. Every single time. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits atop it, right where she's always belonged. <laughs> That's fucking smitten. You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. I've tried to keep them numb, but they're all too soft. A shame, really. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest, bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. Yeah, I, I like the cold. The cold is definitely my favorite voice. He's awesome. So is the smith. The smith is fucking goofy. But eventually, you do make it to the cabin. Wait, what the fuck? Or rather, you make it to the place a cabin should have been. Instead, all you find the is an empty there. hill. Ooh, the music. Me having a conversation with myself. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, this isn't right. There's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. Don't ask him about the mirror. 
<laughs> he always says he never sees it. He always lies. And he always makes it gone. Stay focused. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There <laughs> this is goddamn no mirror. narrator, man. You know that as well as I do. She's still here, buried deep inside the earth. Just walk up the hill. You always give too much space to the others. It's why you always lose. Give me one. And what's wrong with giving them space? What if it helps them? What if they need to be heard? It's a brush in there. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. The cabin that isn't there. <laughs> it, it really does look like everything has been glitching out of existence. Like it doesn't know how to act. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. Smash it to pieces. Stubborn. She's on the other side. And we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. <laughs> it's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. Just do something. It doesn't matter what. Proceed. <laughs> oh my god. All right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> Proceed. Proceed to where? Where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. That's a new one. Do you think it'll work? Proceed. Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. And it already has worked. <gasps> it's gone. Oh my Don't god. You see? The knife. The fuck? We're one step closer to her. The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein. Wrong and unsettling as it may be. The only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this, yeah, it, it feels very intense. I don't know what the fuck is about to happen. I'm at the edge of my goddamn seat. Take it. It's the only way forward. All right. Take the blade. Give it to me. You reach down to take the blade, but as you do, the ground beneath oh, it shifts, shit. the weapon sinking deep into the earth. Is that wind? It's wind. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. You lean over the hole oh, and gaze into the abyss. Is so very deep, deep in the bowels of the earth. Oh no! You see something staring back at you. It Ugh. fills you with dread. It's her. She's watching us. She never stops watching us. Mm -hmm. You really are a coward. Be nice. With every word she speaks, the princess oh. in the pit blinks closer. <laughs> I said that way back when. You know that, right? Oh, dude, dude. <laughs> she's crawling up. I was having some fun, and I guess I wanted to see if I could knock you. And oh, shit. Watching over me forever? That was so brave. No, bitch. Get closer. But forever is so, so long, and time erodes everything. Except for me. <laughs> I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. And it's not for you to take my will, and me out. I am not touching that shit. It'll be so much fun, you and me, together, exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, mostly just me. But you'll get to be there, too. <laughs> a witness. I can even make you a little cage if you want. Gilded and everything. Uh, do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. Wow. Look at this. You're 
is an object, a tool. You once were something else a long time ago. But was that something you... But was that something you, or is it just a dull and shaped memory? There is no other ending here. Just take your hand. Send her free. You extend your hand to hers. For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. <laughs> All right. Come on the motion now. is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. And holy, how cute. <sighs> you got what you wanted. You're out here now. And that's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. Sure. I didn't think I'd be so mm -hmm. tired. Yep, it happens to everyone who tries to come out here. The princess exhausted. Slumps. Why is it so cold? Her voice. Yep, saw that coming. That's the one that we needed. <laughs> oh, fuck. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory She's returns. Gone. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. What does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away just like her. Maybe it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? Her wicked snap. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. Finally, we can smash it. Oh, you stop with the smashing. What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. <laughs> Let's go, Smith. Yeah. I think I'd like that. Seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. Okay, let's do it. What do we look like? What now? You step towards the mirror once more, and its signets remain hidden. Its mysteries remain unresolved. Something tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. Right. Okay, okay, okay. It feels... okay. The fears gone. Oh. I'm done fighting. Damn stubborn's done fighting. Holy shit. My heart feels quiet. The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. I'm ready for the truth. Oh <laughs> man, they're saying cool shit. I'm ready to sleep. I'm just ready to be anywhere that isn't here. <laughs> Let's go contrary, and I fucking love him. Love him. Boys, it's been an honor. <laughs> yeah, it's your own reflection. Let's do it. Silence as you reach forward. Oh, oh man. <laughs> They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze. Then you see a figure, faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. What? What am I? Is that a bird? <laughs> what is this? Are you me? I think you know what I am. slides down the center of the mirror splitting the image in the glass in two and then another crack forms and another and another turning the mirror into a jagged shard in the broken glass <gasps> the fuck is a bubby <laughs> so wait the shards of glass so you're the narrator I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. The narrator, yes. 
I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. This is a limited conversation. Holy shit! Oh, fuck. What do I say? What do I do? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Well, that's not really a question in itself. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? Every time I ask you something, it's like, a piece of you breaks. Are you a part of me or are you something else? Dude, I have so many questions, dude. I've met you many times. Have you been the same way all along? I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? What is this place? What are we? A construct. It was supposed to keep the two of you trapped here until the job was done. And it was supposed to guide your hand to help you see things through. The construct you're in exists in every world at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both you and her into a new world. <sighs> but you're waking up to your true nature now. It won't be able to work <laughs> like that anymore. The plot just was we were hockey all along. <laughs> Holy shit. No! Oh my god! I'm sorry. I, I don't want to destroy you. But it'll help me if I look away or that's no I'm not no. Fuck. So you do know about the little thing. So many times so many of the times I met you, you denied it as if being a possibility. Why did you lie to me? Any other version of me you talked to was just that, a version of me. It wasn't me. As to why they lied. Yeah, why? Perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed you to certain realizations that would have made finishing your task impossible. Maybe they were just in denial. Man. I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too existentially unpleasant. But for all I know, each of those other versions of me could have had entirely different understandings of how this construct works. Who's to say which of them are right and which of them are wrong, really? Except for me. I can tell you for a fact that I'm right. Dude, dude. <laughs> He's gonna go away. I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? The people out there beyond the walls of the construct, do they know about this? Do they know what you want me to do? Of course not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp of its dying breath, and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Dude! Alright. And what is my true identity? You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. The long quiet. <sighs> fuck. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all the hubris? <laughs> the hubris! After everything you've done to us, you think anyone deserves to live. I don't want to be a god. I want to be me. A god. I always knew I was special. What are you? Something like me? <laughs> Holy shit, I... If you're not me, then what are you? I am an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Mm -hmm. I have so many fucking questions, and he's like, he's being so, so cooperative with me. Versions of you, you said that before, so I really was meeting different views. I mean, we know that. Are you a god or were you a god? No. In life, I was painfully mortal. 
a witness to the end of days. <laughs> I held the fear of death in my heart and saw oblivion threaten the very memory of everything I knew and everyone I loved. I needed to do something. So I made you. And I made her. And I made this place to hold you both. No, we all, it looks like we only have three left. Shit. Curious about dying, I've died plenty of times. How am I supposed to rid the world of death? By slaying the princess. Once she's gone, everyone will get to exist exactly as they are. No more fear, no more howling chaos, just life. Forever. cycle of life and death, the endless pattern of creation and destruction. I tore it in two and shaped the fraying threads into you and her. <laughs> Dude, my fucking mind is like, oh, right fuck now, like, this is so bizarre. I want to know more. supposed to see all this, was You were either going to have seen all this, or you weren't going to have seen all this. This is worse, but you still have an opportunity to save the world. You can still slay her. Oh my god! Oh my god! Lie? Rest easy. I'm going to destroy her. What the fuck? I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all of this. Say nothing and watch him end. Uh, I think you're out of time. I'm not gonna slay her. I want you to know that before you die for good. Well, there's no reasoning with a god. Even one you've woven into existence yourself. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. <laughs> As the final fragment of Flash shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator was right. You're in the long quiet, a vast and nascent, n n nascent god, and it's finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Man, I... <laughs> I feel like my... I, I, it's so hard to process this. I... It, it's so sad. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. What the fuck is this? I can finally see you, and you can finally see me. Hi. How's it... How's it going? <laughs> okay. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. <laughs> It's I've pretty. missed you dearly. Hi, how's it going? Whoa. I've missed you too. She had frozen in this cascade of smiles and response and then patiently waits for you to continue. She's so gorgeous. She's so beautiful. Do you know about the Echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his You was Delulu! Pay him no mind. I'm 
not the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Lulu was indeed a Salulu all along. <laughs> what happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not deaf. But I contain it in my multitudes. <sighs> so, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? <sighs> oh no, what is she doing? Slay the princess! Ah! No! We came- Ah! Ah! Uh. Mm. There's so many stories we've left unfinished, can we really just leave? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end, pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. <sighs> you and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. Yeah. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Let's talk through this. Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and I need answers before I can make a choice. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Oh my god. Oh. There are a few things more terrifying than one's own heart. And there is almost nothing more terrifying than sharing it with another. <sighs> what, what the fuck? But the most terrifying thing of all is to leave one's heart unshared. You are the only thing like me. And I am the only thing like you. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of solitude and thrust it on creation? <sighs> Thank you for sharing yourself with me. I don't need to share my heart with anyone. I wish I could share my heart with you. Oh, that's so cute! You showed me your heart to break me. It was a terrible thing to see. That is what it takes to rid the world of death. I can bear the solitude. I probably won't win this one. I won't engage with this. Ooh! Remain silent. Hmm. Remain silent. But you say nothing. A shiver passes through you as unseen fingers, cold as the grave, dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them, and yet, they do not return it. I like them, Bruce. I offer you a path to your redemption, and you take my hand in yours. You felt the pain you caused another, and you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was used to set me free. Without sin, there is no redemption. <laughs> what the fuck? Remain silent. 
and so your quietude continues. Oh, God. The love you. There is no beginning to them, nor is there an end. There is only the flood of bodies. And every moment you hold every possible sensation at once, and then you hold them all again. <laughs> and in the end, you returned it to me. For a brief moment, you were everything. Oh my god. A chaos that needed ordering. But without chaos, there is no reason. <laughs> is your unbroken silence a lack of an answer? Or has your understanding begun to move beyond words? <laughs> your life has escaped into your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? Oh. Love melted into skepticism. And you pulled back layer after layer after layer. Until all you were left with was the knowledge that you did not know me. You sought the truth then. Will you hide from it now that it is within your grasp? I want to put my sad face on. <laughs> Still, you hide the contours of your heart from me. A person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons, mince the meat, grind the bones. When it is all gone, do you still have who you started with? A person is not Holy a body. Shit. Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that fear it. Your stoicism knows no end. Yeah, that, that design actually is like, unironically one of the best ones. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. <sighs> what are these options? It's easy to believe in the things you believe in. When you get to sit above it all, what do you think happens if we leave here? Okay, I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? I can't let that happen. I can't let everything die. Oh, shit. Look how many options we have to slay this princess. I have to fight for a better world. I'm so sorry. You are cruelty itself, and I can't let you exist. Oh my god. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but... I won't let you free. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. <sighs> everything is telling me to fucking slay this princess. <laughs> Mr. Birdman did say if we killed her, it would stop everything. You are cruelty itself. Oh my god. <laughs> what? This is so much weight on my fucking shoulders. This game is just so much. What the fuck? 
I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't... This one. There is no something else. This, what we are, is everything. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the hero. <laughs> what the fuck is he What's he doing here? Which hero are you? You have no idea how good it is to hear you. It's good to be here. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. <laughs> You're no good, lady. Oh my god. I can do this. Then let's go. Let's fuck you. Here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at the fucking windows, bro. Do you need me to describe things? Like the narrator? I like that for old times' sake. Yeah, of course. <sighs> the interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? <laughs> there isn't much here, just a table and a knife and a door. And some windows. You know, come to think of it, I don't think he ever really mentioned the windows, did he? There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. <laughs> he's bad at this, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying, he's doing good, he's doing good. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. We're gonna need it. Is it just you and me? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? Is the narrator really gone? Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Damn. Good riddance. Yeah. He really put us through hell, didn't he? Yes, he did. That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. This is just you and me. Did anyone else make it to the cabin? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there. Jumbled up in the rest of her. Alright. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Yep. Have you figured out what you want to do yet, or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. Right. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are, knife in hand. It really brings me back. Have you given up on talking? Have you finally decided to kill me? You'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? <laughs> oh, dude! Oh my god! Slay the princess. Or sit with her. <sighs> I, 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 I... We came all here, all the way here for what? To talk after all we've been through? You have got to be fucking kidding me. I don't know what to do. I, I, I legitimately... <sighs> Crank up the Riz <laughs> That's right. Let's save. No 
if I sit with her, what will she say? If I slay her, that's just fulfilling this purpose, honestly. For the smitten? <laughs> you, want me, you want me to do it for him? <laughs> my life fucking all right i'll sit with you for smitten i don't want to be a god honestly me neither are you the same as you are out there no i feel like i'm myself again I don't want to hurt anyone. There has to be a way out of this. Well, I don't want to be at the end of that knife, so how about we figure something out? What if we tried doing this forever? I can do whatever you think I can, right? Mm. So, make me put it all back. Make me fix the Echo's construct and make me wipe our memories of everything that's happened. Make me send us back to the beginning, before we woke up, before either of us saw the truth. <sighs> I don't like that. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Oh my god. I don't want to forget you. That's sweet. But unless you do, the whole world ends, right? Not like I care. But it seems important to you. Man! <laughs> setting and do anything to help them the people out there if you continue to exist don't they continue to die and suffer fixing that is on you not me if you want me to help them you'll have to make me help them we're going to find ourselves back here eventually and if we do nothing is stopping us from making the same choice we could just keep doing this forever <laughs> Unless I kill you, which that fucking sucks. If we're talking about this right now, how do we know we haven't done this before? Well, I don't think that's something we'll ever get to know, but odds are we've probably done it before. Yeah, maybe. How do you know what things won't end worse? What if when I make my way back here, I'm different and I hurt you? What if I kill you? What if I let you bring about the end of everything? Who cares? We've hurt each other plenty and I still like you. <laughs> oh, God. That's so sad. And if you're hesitating, then you must still like me, too. We'd have to decide to do this every single time, forever. Eventually, something is going to be different. What if we change our minds? Well, if we change our minds, we change our minds. What matters is that we'll always have a choice. This is just the one we're making now. This isn't fair. I want you to be here with- I want to be here with you, I- I don't want to be alone again. No. That is so sad. Neither do I. But we won't be alone for long. I'll be right here, waiting for you. Oh my god. Is there any other way? You brought that knife down here for a reason. Either you use it to kill me, or I use it to put things back. Oh 
Oh my god. I take it all back. I I don't want this. I I don't want to kill you. Is it too late to go back to being a god? Yeah, I think it's too late for that. But maybe next time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, then let's do it again. I believe in us. Agree to her plan. I'm oh, sorry, but I can't do that. <sighs> Fuck. What's the point, really? Like, we... Even if we... If I agree with her, and we'll just keep doing this all over and over, and nothing will change. Nothing will change. We'll come here again, and we'll repeat the process, and it'll just be an em endless fucking limbo. You think I should save? Maybe the knife messed it all up? You can always reload your save and choose another option. This is crazy. That's true, we do have our saves. <sighs> I want to see how this plays out though. You and me both. Whatever world you want to build without me, I hope it works out. Despite our differences, I've always loved you, and I wish you nothing but the best. <laughs> wow. You blink and the princess is gone. All you have left? Vero is a small, melancholic, melancholic. Alcoholic weight that sits at the borders of your heart. Melancholy. Whatever action brought you and the princess into being was a rough and jagged and left each of you the peace of the other. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry, goddammit. By destroying her once and for all, you also destroyed a part of yourself. But the world hasn't ended. Things continue on. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. No, she's not. A small part of her is with us. Is that a metaphor, or are you being literal? It doesn't matter. We don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. Hmm. You leave the basement behind. Then the stairs. And then you leave the cabin itself. It's quiet here. The path and the woods outside are an empty canvas. But there is even more to see beyond this place. The fruits of your labor, a world free from death. Set yourself free. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. You feel the sensation it lives. Once you... Everything here is here. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension. Finite plate. And you feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you. What the fuck? Confining you across the infinite sides and infinite angles, you push back and sh strain against it. But it does not yield. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here, but us. Open your heart and bear witness to your new king. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? All at once, the unyielding tension gives way. What the fuck? And then the shattering. You are free. 
and before you lies the endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality. One forged by your will and by the long and ardent, oh, oh, arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hand. Oh my. Where's my water? I need a drink. I need a bucket. I'm gonna drink up. Mm. Congrats, you're a dad now? <clears throat> but there will be no more bloodshed in this it's new world. It's finally over, isn't it? But all of us are still here. <sighs> I knew we'd finally see it through. All it takes to be a winner is grit and determination. That wasn't very hard at all. Speak for yourself. I hope this was all worth it. Because I'm personally inconsolable. <laughs> no, Smitten, no. <laughs> Buddy. Hear, hear. To our vanquished foe. Smitten. It's good to be back. Now we just have to figure out what to do with ourselves. Forever. No problem. We can do that, yeah? Yeah. We can do that. That's crazy. That's fucking insane. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. Slaying her doesn't do anything. It just repeats the, the, the fucking, this goddamn cycle, man. Wow, wow. That's crazy. I want to go back and ask Birdman more questions. I feel like I want to go back and ask more questions to the Birdman. I hope you enjoyed it, Goldie. Okay. I feel like... <laughs> how do I... How do I... Where do I begin thinking and explaining what this game is to me? Let's hunt for lore. It's so bittersweet. Oh my god, I'm, I, I, you probably just heard that. I'm about to cry. Holy shit. Ugh. I feel like that's the ending that we could deem as like the bad ending. But it's an ending that I feel like was inevitable. It makes me wonder how many endings there are to this game. Is she herself is also the cycle that in which that we could have stopped, though. I, I just feel like... It's, it's so tragic. <laughs> it, it's such a tragedy. This game, this game fucked me up, man. Oh my god, I, uh... The fact that there are a bunch of endings, too. There's three endings. There's a total of 18 vessels, and I think there's five to six total endings? Holy shit! Five to six total endings! No shot. This is the second player I've seen this, and you only saw the one of the princes I'd seen before. Yeah, it makes me wonder, like, what the fuck are the other endings like? How do you achieve these endings? The ending you got was one of the worst endings, really. Well, apparently, that's this is not the worst ending. Apparently, there's another ending that's like, how bad can things get? <laughs> it's already it's already worse enough as is. How the fuck worse can they get? That's interesting. This game has 97 fucking achievements. Damn, watch out, fucking Persona 5 Royale. Shit. <laughs> there's an ending that, huh? that, that oh, that's a, I might I think that might be a spoiler. I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm just like left with this really bittersweet feeling. <sighs> it's crazy. 
The thing you got is semi bad since the concept of life. And you kill the concept of death. Yeah, I think we can dub that as the bittersweet ending. That's insane. Five hours? Damn, we've been playing this game for five fucking hours? What the fuck? I even, it doesn't even seem like five hours. It just, it just seemed like I started playing this game. Very good writing. I have to give it to the writers. I have to give it to them. They displayed um, an amazing, an amazing game here. Like, my goodness. This is fucking brilliant. I, I can't believe this. W what else has this development team created? Because if this is like their first game, it there's no way this is their first game. Because if it is, what a fucking way to make a game. I'm very interested to see what they do next. This is brilliant. Oh my god. Scarlet Hollow is their other game. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of a Shakespearean tragedy like Stars Cross Lovers. Yeah, that's what it feels like. <laughs> like the fact that there is like more than a couple endings really has me interested. Wonderful and breathtaking. Wow. You wish listed their other game. So their other game is like underway is what you're saying. When did this come out? This came out in October of last year, right? Hmm. Damn. We do the other endings too, Gibster. I probably might do that on my own time. I'm not too sure if like if you guys are willing to sit down and have me go. I mean, we have we have the saves. We would have to start right here though, right? That's crazy. Let me see. Let's just uh -huh. like. Get the Don't be alive. Let me turn it down for you guys. Hold on. Because I want to get to the point where we're at the cabin, right? <laughs> Christ, my ears. Yeah, that fucking hurt me. And then we see... Yeah, this. Like, how, how different can things play out in this scenario? There are four release chapters out of the seven of the other game. Whoa. It's so if we if we don't so take the knife into the cabin in that very last area, for this moment, ever the that's what changes the ending overall. Was... And what if you slay her right here, right now? Like, what the fuck happens? Watching you playing this made the experience more enjoyable. Yeah, I'm playing this completely blindly, too. I think that's one of the best things about playing this with you guys, is that I don't know what to expect or what to see or what's going to be said. Even as your eyes begin to open. Yeah, it's a good idea to save right here. <laughs> of course I have if we Yeah, let's just skip the majority of this. I know. Uh -oh. I want to see this. I want to see this real quick. See it through. We already Violence saved, so. Has always been our language, hasn't it? If this is what it takes to save you. There are a few things more terrifying hmm. than one's own heart. Save her, GF. <laughs> Let's get through this. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? But you said yeah, I'm gonna turn this down for you guys so you don't have to get your ears blasted. Honestly, you had a few rare routes. It was scary watching it the first time with you. I feel so bad for this one. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> She's like poorly drawn. It's so it's so scribbly. I love it. Remain silent. God, this fucking design was amazing. I'm really big fan of this design. The clash between you and dates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. 
that you cannot remove something without removing the rel open your eyes and accept what we are. We she, she's so scary though. Together. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you could change me, I must be able to change you. What I offer you is not whatever you're trying to do right now. Hey, <laughs> there he is. There he is. It's good to be. She's too. There's still a piece of me. It's time to. She's relent. I'm ready. Let's go. All right. So this happens. <laughs> sexy, sexy, scary. The classic scarousing. Ah, yes. And here we are. I'd say we were back. Let it save right here. So we don't take the knife. Do you need me to describe things? We just enter the basement. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgment yeah, has got Most of my far. runs were completely bladeless. I was like, I don't want to kill anyone. Because we get the most... You, you surprisingly get the more interesting, like, perspectives when you're like, no. I don't want to do anything. No stabby. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? Have you? It sounded... And yeah. down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are. Maybe there's still room for us to chat before the final curtain call. What I'm gonna eat the biggest fucking chicken sandwich after this goddamn game. I need, like, comfort food right now. Let's see, um... I'm gonna go fucking like ham wild on the fucking tavern's kitchen, bro. Honestly, me neither. No. I feel You're like good I'm missing all of us. <laughs> what if we just leave? I think the only thing left for us to do here is leave. Do you know where this cabin is? Because I don't. I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us. What would even happen if we leave? What would that even mean? I don't know. Take your hand in yours. Okay then. Let's leave. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Don't mention it. Thanks for making all the hard choices along the way. <sighs> Oh my god, hands clasped together. You and the princess leave the basement behind for the last time. It's quiet as you ascend, a comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. There is an energy in the silence, the electricity, the anticipation of the unknown. And at the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You feel her hand tremble in yours. She's unsure of herself for the first time in her long and short existence. <clears throat> she has no part to play anymore, and she knows this. Yet, she still is. And then she crosses the room to the door outside, pulling you excitedly with her. This is it. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. <laughs> Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting. You yeah. guys. Anything could happen. And if it's bad, then it <laughs> won't be bad. Not with you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, how fucking cute. But I'm trying not to be sappy about it. Don't make me get all emotional. Oh, that's a cute ending. <sighs> I really want to know what the other endings are, too. But I think that's something I might have to find on my own time. <sighs> big boy stretch, big boy stretch, big boy stretch. Oh my god, you know what? I have to give it to him. This is... This game feels... It's a psychological horror game. 
It has to be psychological. It really fucks with you. The only other psychological game I played on this level was um, Doki Doki Literature Club. That game is uh, a different type of... Uh, <laughs> it's a different type of psychological. And I feel like this comes incredibly close to being a fucking amazing you know, game of that caliber that's really does stand out of its own. I have to give credit to the uh, the developers, the team behind this game. It truly is something unique. I don't think I'm going to forget about this. I feel like this is a game that you definitely need to play to experience it. Um, and I'm really glad that I was recommended this game. Going in blindly was probably the best thing I've ever done with this game. Because I didn't know shit about it. I just knew that one of my boys played it. I heard Shinri, Shinri fucking loved it. And then he was like, you're gonna love it too. So that's why we're here. And honestly, really proud that we played this together. This was fucking awesome. This was rad. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think this is where our adventure ends together. This seriously was a lot more emotional than I thought. And I feel like it's gonna make me think about it um, when I eat my chicken sandwich and cry later on tonight, inevitably. But with that being said, my name is Gold Bullet, CQC expert, weapon specialist, and head sniper of armies. And I want to thank you for being here in this existence with me, <laughs> in this in this life. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. Thank you for sticking around, Bubbies. Thank you so much for the supas. And thank you so much for the memberships, as always. That means so much to me. Thank you. Th thank you, guys. Mwah. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing a game on a lighter note, hopefully. <laughs> also, give me thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, everybody who came on. Hey, if you were lurking, that's completely fine. If you're sleeping, I take no offense to it. I love sleeping to my favorite streamers, too. <laughs> this was awesome. Tomorrow, we are playing Elden Ring. Elden Ring. And I foresee a very long stream ahead of us. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a great one. Um, with that being said, mwah. Bubbies, you have yourselves a damn good one. And remember, we're in this together. You and I. <laughs> thank you for existing in this universe, Goldie. And thank you for existing in mine. All right. That being said, I'll see you guys soon. Remember, I love you all very much. And goodbye. Turn the music off. We need this nice music on. We'll keep it like this.